You want me to hit it? I can hit it. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second here. I like to call this one Earl and Peppa. It's <laughs> hilarious. Mmm, smaggin. Mmm, smaggin. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> end of the year, 2008, video game awards. No Do the awards introductions. We have we have a full house though. Okay, go ahead. Say, <laughs> say your fucking names. Uh, I'm Black and I'm Earl. Black, you. Yeah, Chris here. Chris number two here. I'm black and I'm Jason. <laughs> no. He is. I've seen it. <laughs> so so black. people know who Jason is. Jason's the crazy person from like one of our first podcasts that uh, was playing Metal Gear Solid when it came out on the PlayStation 1, and he goes, I am solid. <laughs> <laughs> ten years ago. Uh, yeah. A name to the face. I think it was more than ten years ago, actually. Well, whatever. Face to the name? Weird. Crazy. Um... I guess before we start the whole... Because this isn't going to be like a long show or anything, I'm sure. Because we're just going to talk about what the best games were that we played this year. As if we can remember more than a month ago what came out. Yeah, it's saddening. But, but, uh, came out in November anyway. That's true. I only played like five I, games I, I remember year, like so. three games, so... Yeah, me too. And I beat one yeah, game, The so. thing that sucks about this year is everything came out in like the last two months of it. Right. All, all the really good stuff, anyway. They well, do that so you don't remember. When did Metal Gear come out in July? I really don't remember, but... Yeah, yeah. that came out early. That I don't remember early. exactly when, but... Right. Which one is it? Jason, you gotta yeah, help me out with this. Guns of the Patriots. Why is that game good? I, I don't get it. The controls are awful, and I don't know what's going on. Help me. Um, <laughs> I think it's just fan service. Is it? Yeah. Five minutes of playing, two hours of movies. No, it's like 20 hours of movies. Yeah, I heard that was awesome. But how is that possible that a game gets a perfect 10 for... I mean, regardless if the cutscenes are the best thing in the world, Val... Uh, whatever. What was that Valkyrie... Chronicles. That game's got like... Valkyria. No, no, not that. The Val... Profile. Valkyrie, Valkyrie Profile. Profile. Has some of the best CG I've ever seen in a game, and it's like pretty decent. But I'm not giving that a 10 because the CG was amazing. So why would Metal Gear get a 10? Because it has a lot of it. The fighting's still good. Couldn't you play, like, the, the original Gear. parts of <laughs> Metal Gear awesome. Solid or something? Yeah, one of the uh, stages they went downhill the from, too. Yeah. It's like a retro throwback or something. Over each other. That was what? probably pretty right. cool. I didn't play it. No, there was a lot of fighting games. It's still, still good. I mean, it wrapped up the whole freaking story. Reginald, I disagree. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, think they went downhill from, too. To figure out the story of Metal Gear in general, I think you need, like, a flow chart that takes up, like, an entire wall. Yeah. Well, it's like so many like er- everybody's got to stop talking over each other. This is getting insane. Have it, have it, have it, have it. All right, so we're all in agreement that Metal Gear Solid Four sucks. Let us move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't feeling solid on this one. <laughs> yeah, <A> little runny. <laughs> um, okay, I don't, I don't know. We should talk about a little bit of news. I, I take it we're not going to be doing games for remakes this podcast because what the fuck all the games we're talking about came out this year so nobody likes that segment anyways no uh, uh did we talk about the new xbox dashboard yet i don't think we have i love it Pantry's it's head. nice i saw you have an avatar jack 
I did. I, yeah. I spent three, yeah. sec- I spent three seconds on it. He's full of shit. Three seconds. He spent six hours. Man. He's it wearing the same like shirt as his avatar no, right he, now. I'm he telling bought you. pants, shirts, and I hats. I did buy the pants. He changes it every day to match his wardrobe. <laughs> As soon as I saw his, his, his uh You have avatar. one, you asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have one, too. So what are you talking about? Well, I never made fun of it like you did. Yes, you did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Let's pull that up. No, I think I, I did. I mean, I, I still think the avatars are stupid. But hey, if they I, are stupid, You know what? I still made there. one that If I can make you singing like to Salt and Pepper, I can make you saying that it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you yeah. can, but whatever. I, you know, I had, I had, you know, ten minutes of fun making it, I guess. What's yeah. your favorite part of the new dashboard? Netflix easily. Netflix, yeah. Do you have? Does everyone have Netflix? No, I don't have no. Netflix. Oh, I got Netflix. Right. Jason doesn't even have internet. <laughs> <laughs> I got internet. I just don't have, have it hooked up to all the systems. Oh, all right. Uh, I like the fact that you can install the discs to the hard drive or the games to the hard drive. I thought that was pretty sweet. Have you actually used it? Oh yeah, okay. I have like all all the games that I'm playing all the time are, are installed to hard drive right it now. It works well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it works awesome. It's a lot. It's a lot faster load times, and you don't have to spin up the uh, stupid DVD that sounds like a jet yeah. airplane t- yeah. taking off. I installed three games. Have not played a one of them. The um, the nice thing about it is, I mean, the one thing that broke on my um, on my elite was the DVD drive. So not having to use it, you know, hopefully should extend the life of this one a little bit. So. Yeah, that is a good thing. That's a plus. I like the fact that you can kind of like in game, kind of go to that middle, that semi dashboard without coming yeah. out of the game completely. Mm-hmm. I think that's the best part. I yeah, like you that a lot. You can always do that. No, no. like if you tried to go to, the, like if you went to the dashboard, it, it cut off the game and you're in the dashboard. But now it has a, you know, it's like it's it's like a cut down version of it, but it has it, and you can do it in game, which I like. Yeah, it's just all like system settings and your, you know, whatever. How long does it take to download a movie? It's streams. It streams. It's instantaneous. Oh, it's streams. I mean, it takes like maybe like. 15 seconds to spin up and then you watch it. And and the HD one's the same amount of time, which is crazy. The, and and the, it looks good. The HD looks good? Yeah. It's awesome. I remember us talking about it when uh, when they were talking about it, wondering if they were going to do the HD stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, the only ones I watched was uh, 30 Rock. Uh, I think it was second season or something. I, I had no problems. And it's a fantastic show. Supposedly it's pseudo HD, I heard, but... I mean, I don't know. I didn't notice any difference on it. It looks great on my monitor. So. Actually, you know what? I do have one complaint. Uh, when you add the Netflix movies, the, the Play It Now ones, into your queue, uh, they're not in alphabetical order. And when when they go to the Xbox, they just show up in the order that you selected them, which is kind of annoying. I'd like to go by alphabetical order. but Yeah, you can't sort them, I don't think. Whatever. Sorry. It's a free service, so how can you really complain? You'll find yourself having to like delete your. St- the, the, the thing that I was kind of annoyed by is that you couldn't add stuff directly from Xbox. You actually had to go to Netflix, add your stuff into the queue, and then you could watch it on the Xbox. Right. You couldn't actually like select things to watch from the Xbox, um, which was sort of annoying. But you know, whatever, you get used to it. Um, and you find yourself like after you watch things, there's no way to delete it out of your queue from the Xbox either. So you have to go back yeah, to Netflix. Is. From the Xbox? Yeah, yeah. It's right under, um, in the play, uh, it says the remove or whatever. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Never mind then. I have no complaints. <laughs> that, that's a very good feature. Anything else on what it else? worth noting besides pants, shirts, and hats? How about the party? I like that part. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I haven't played with that. I haven't used it. <laughs> the Xbox party business? No. You can, like, basically, like, get a gr- group of people group of people together. together. Mm. And you, you start up a party and you can, um, you know, like say you guys wanted to play Call of Duty and all be on the same team. You know, you, you get a party and you hop into a room and you're always on the same team. Okay. So that's, that's cool. cool. And, like, you can always, you can just talk directly to each other instead of hearing all the crazy people with their like I won. racial slurs. And then the, the 13-year-olds, the like, ah! just, why are you being a nigga? And all this other crazy stuff. You don't have to listen Mommy, to that shit. can you get me a chocolate milk? I I'm playing Gears of War. I won. I won. I won. <laughs> you know, you don't have to listen to that. You can just listen to your friends. Yeah. What's a spick? <laughs> hey, uh, I really hate spicks. Does anybody else really hate spicks in here? <laughs> it, you missed out on that, Jay. Um, he thinks we're just racist. That, that's the first time I, I went on Xbox Live, and that's the first thing I heard when getting on was, I, I really hate spicks. Does anybody else in here really hate spicks? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Some guy was like, what, what's a spick? <laughs> Um, does everybody know Ghostbusters went to Atari? Yeah, I right. saw that. 
I yeah. guess. I mean, it's, it's good that it's that it's not completely done. Yeah. But you know, and hopefully it's still good. with this extra time to work. Hopefully they're working on it, yeah. and not just sitting and, on it. Yeah. But uh, I mean, being that it was supposed to come out and. <laughs> November or whenever it was, that's a fantastic thing. Hopefully, was it canceled fun. or was it just bought up by someone else? Uh, no, the, uh, the company like went I, under. No, it wasn't a Vivendi. Didn't they just drop it? They, um, I think they were going to publish it, and they decided that it wasn't like part of their like, you know, it didn't go with their company motto or some crap like that. So they dropped. Now, was that the biggest bonehead movie you ever heard of? Because I think that's retarded. Like, you do know, they not game's... see the sales potential in that game? I see. That's the thing. Like, I can see that game doing a ton, and I can see it doing nothing because a lot of people that play games now didn't even watch Ghostbusters. Well, didn't have the original uh, voice, original cast doing all the voiceovers. I don't yeah, know. did it really? Yeah, everybody, everybody came back for it. That's it's, it, it's I, like a third movie, but as a video right, game, right? And I, I just I can't imagine it being bad, but I, I just don't see why. It. The company wouldn't want to sell that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was Vivendi, yeah. Blizzard, or somebody. I Whatever. Know. But I mean, now I, I would like to see a game based on the real Ghostbusters, the cartoon, because I think overall the the characters they had in in the cartoon show were better than the ones in the movie. Not the main characters, but like the bad guys. The bad all, guys, absolutely. Like, like Sam Hain. Yeah, yeah. Sam Hain, the Sandman, uh, the Boogeyman. Like, which was kind of like Monsters Inc. He came out of, you know, closet, closet well, doors and stuff. It was awesome. Yeah. He came out of the closet. <laughs> yeah. He was he a did. homo. <laughs> and uh, there was others. I can't remember which ones. But a lot of, like, uh, like famous people throughout history, like Casey Jones. Um, yeah, they did have a lot of, lot of like, really cool characters. I was characters just watching it show. recently, and they had him on. And, like, they made, like, kind of, like, tongue-in-cheek references to cocaine in it and stuff. Really? Yeah, like... Um, there was like coffee and something, some other kind of speedy object on 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 the table, and uh, I think Peter goes to Egon. We're gonna be up all night or something. Like that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Well, it came out of, like the '80s when like everyone's doing coke anyway, and it was like the socially acceptable thing to discuss. But this is a know? cartoon we're talking about for <laughs> children. So. But then again, look at how it, like look, Ren and Stimpy. Like, is that really yeah. a cartoon for children? Not, Not really, but it was on Nickelodeon. And SpongeBob is hilarious. So, has anyone seen what the new game's going to look like? I mean, I saw a few random screenshots, but they had the E3 thing. It looked crazy. Yeah, it yeah, the really E3 good. made it look amazing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I don't know. And they're Nothing coming out recently. with a, a, a different one for the Wii too, where you, you know, it looks shitty, of course, but like that might be kind of fun using that shitty remote if it works, which I'm sure it won't. So never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that from memory. Cricket. Hi. Hello. Um, Hi. Uh, has anybody seen Heavy Rain for the PS3? Mm-mm. The only no. person that's going to care in the room is Jason. Have you seen it yet? I saw like two pictures of just like the check. It looks amazing. Yeah, it looks great. What the hell is it even supposed to be about? Uh, it, it's basically Seven the movie. It's like a, a murder mystery type of deal. And like Night Trap? <laughs> hopefully <laughs> as good, but who knows? Um... I don't think you really control the character, unfortunately. I think it's like more of a point-and-click adventure. But what? Like yeah. Clue? I guess I don't know, but <laughs> it, it looks like no. You got to see uh, the pictures of faces. Like the, that kind of the, sucks. The, uh, the the atmosphere is unbelievable, though, and like the, the bad guy that they show in in the video clip, he's like a fat pervert looking dude and uh nice. he's whistling like the Andy Griffith show, and it's just like really like with creepy music behind mm-hmm. it, and it's it's so awesome. Have you? Has anyone here played any of the Condemned games? No. Very no. little. I think I, I played is, that. But... Is that when you're, like, insane? Yeah, you play, like, a cop or whatever. I think right? I played two when I first got the game. <laughs> it's sort of a a mystery-type first-person... Not a, really a first-person shooter. But you're with, sort of beat crap out of people. Song, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the first one was cool. I never played the second one, Bloodshot or whatever. But the first one was good. And I don't know. Is it supposed to be like that? Like, where... It's, yeah, it's somewhat. I've point, seen like three pictures, but it's, it's third person. <clears throat> it looks really good. I don't know. I'll show you videos later. Okay. Yeah. Put them up. What's it called? Heavy rain. Uh, heavy rain. Heavy barrel. Pro- probably not out till <laughs> next year if we're lucky. Um, actually, I have a next year like 2010 rain. or late this year. <laughs> uh, Prince. Maybe late this year. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. 
I, I have a, a, a new segment to talk about, which fits in good with the Xbox uh, dashboard thing. Downloadable potables. Huh? 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 SNL? Wah, 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 wah. Potent potables. Um, for, uh, this is basically all coming from Xbox. Um, Street Fighter 2 HD. Did anybody download the demo? No, I I looked at it, but I never did. Awful. Yeah. The I mean, the, everything looks really good, but the the characters' animation is like two frames. It's retarded. It yeah. looks awful. Mm. And you can change your character back to the old sprite characters. Mm -hmm. And and I was doing back and forth to see. And although the you know the sprite characters look terrible against an HD background. They animate better than the... Okay. So they, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? What? This Heavy Rain game that you're talking about, I just looked it up. It's it's Heavy Rain, the Origami Killer. That sounds pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, that does sound, that does you should, sound gay. You should look though. at the picture. I wish you guys could see the picture. It's like this origami crane. <laughs> With a little blood. Does it have blood on it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Nice. <laughs> Seems excellent. <laughs> well, pay no attention to that. When I show, <laughs> when I show you the video, you'll, you'll shit yourself. It looks and great. it's by a French studio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Paper another cut. thing. Uh, oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. They, they, they had a, a live uh, presentation of the game. And all you hear, like, and you see what the are video playing in the background. French? Huh? <laughs> a little bit of both, I guess. <laughs> oh, sha, 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 sha. <laughs> what, Chinese and French, you're saying? <laughs> I guess. Wow. It's kind of generic. <laughs> 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 How about that? Is that better? <laughs> yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> <laughs> My children need wine. Chow <laughs> 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 dear. Wow. It's chowder. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so no, nobody's played that? Mm -mm. Thank you very much. No. Um, I don't download uh, anything on yeah, Xbox, yeah. really. Why? I don't feel like paying money for stuff. No, no, the free demos. Everything's free. Yeah, demos. Well, I guess. Uh, the last demo I downloaded was Too Human. And, mm. I'm busy enough playing regular games <laughs> right now, so... I'm not going to say anything to you. You're an asshole. That's the best <laughs> game ever. Mm. Did anybody here else here like Too Human? Uh, chirp, 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 I played chirp. a little bit of it, and it seemed okay. Uh, I haven't played enough of it to make it... Judgment call one way. He hates it. He's just trying to be nice. I don't know. The shitty reviews kept me away. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem. Everybody hated on it, and it was like the greatest game to come I out. played the demo before I read any reviews, and I hated it. Yeah, well, just because... I played the demo. Too. Just because my uh, gameplay experience... <laughs> Is better than yours, and my taste in video games are better than yours. This is coming from the guy who hates Nintendo and, loves and had Shaq Nintendo Fu. tattooed on himself. No, I hate Nintendo of today. <laughs> I love Nintendo of yesteryear. Uh, just we can saying. talk a little bit about uh, Club, <laughs> Club Nintendo. Oh, um, yeah. If you spend eight thousand dollars on video games, you can get a pack of playing cards. Oh, nice. that shit's retarded. Yeah. Like their whole club, you get like gifts from them if you spend enough money or whatever. Japan got a, a bunch of cool shit, though, over the last few years, and eventually, I'm, I'm guessing they'll catch up to them. Probably maybe, not. Maybe someone. Especially with, like, people who are scared of losing money and stuff like that. Down. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, yeah, okay. You, all you have to do is register games that you already bought. So if you're just buying a shitload of Wii games or whatever, then I guess it's a pretty good deal because right. you're getting something for nothing, essentially. Right. Nobody else is really doing that. Unfortunately, I wish Xbox would. They should, Because that, that would make a lot of sense. You buy a game in the store, register it, a few points towards a downloadable game. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I have to say... So that Xbox, makes sense to me. They Even don't do a stuff bit. with the registration, but they do... I have to say, give you a lot of free shit. Like, I've gotten probably four free games from Xbox just for basically being a member of Gold. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which, is, which isn't a bad deal. I mean, you know, yes, I'm buying a lot of games, spending a lot of money on the system, but at least they kind of reward you a little bit every once in a while. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. It's, it's free stuff for Nintendo. So, if you're buying all these games, I mean, literally, you have to buy, spend, you know... Five hundred dollars worth of games to get a pack of playing cards is what it comes down to. Right. What's the day. best thing you can get from them? You can get like some. This is a DS game. That's the, the yeah. You can get a DS one. game, which costs a little. I, I don't know how many. It's a really games. shitty DS game. Though. So you it's spend fifteen hundred dollars and you get a, a twenty dollar game. Twenty dollar game. Yeah. That's Kung hot. Fu Panda or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, better the, than Kung the Fu. The remake of Shaq. It's Fu. the Game and Watch. <laughs> You know the Game & Watch games? Yeah. It's those on the oh, DS4. It, why would you hot. want to play them? Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. I like Mr. Game & Watch and Smash Brothers. That's about it. 
Yeah, yeah it's fun. Blink, 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 Sausages. Blink, blink. Sausages. If you could watch Jack right now, he looks ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's what he does with his frying pan. Blink, 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 blink. blink. <laughs> Sorry. Trampoline. <clears throat> Anybody download Weapon of Choice? I haven't downloaded anything. What is that? That's a Contra-style game, but it looks like fucking... Uh, legendary axe from TurboGrafx-16, like really bright colors, yeah. and it's neat. It plays pretty well. It's a lot of slowdown though, but it's one of those community games, and um, it's only a couple bucks. It's, I bought it, played it for five seconds. Has anyone here besides Jack and me downloaded anything from the live arcade? Or uh, I got no. an update. <laughs> that was wow, bad. update? No. Huh? <laughs> no? Uh, not that I can remember. I don't waste I my might money have downloaded this stuff, something. You know, I some might get pretty Super good, Puzzle actually. Fighter. Well, I've downloaded. That game's fun. I've downloaded yeah. like songs for songs for like Guitar Hero. Yeah, like no, I'm talking no like games. full arcade. Yeah, no. Oh, your regular guitar. I thought you were talking about the World Tour. I didn't. Not add-ons. No. I'm talking about. I'm talking about full yeah. games. I've no, I haven't downloaded anything anyway. So I mean, like Puzzle Quest was pretty good. And, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Penny Arcade Episode One. I downloaded that one. Was really good. Um, That's like your favorite game of all time. I've never heard anybody try to push that on. It's a good game. It really is. I, well, for one thing, it's like it's super nerdy. So mm-hmm. I'm down with that. How's it about? Just like the comic? Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's weird. I mean, it, it has elements of the comic in it, but um, the characters from the comic. But it's got a good it's got a good storyline. It's funny. It's like it's definitely not for kids. It's got a lot of adult humor in it, um, and it's got a lot of H.P. Lovecraft references, which I like. So nice. If you like H.P. Lovecraft, then. It's, it's funny. Um, I wasted seven dollars on a. Uh, there's a game called Loco Roco for the P- PSP, and it's a lot of fun. But they have something for the PS3. It's like kind of like a screensaver that you play. It's so bad. It plays absolutely nothing like the Loco Roco game. So that was seven dollars I should have burned, along with my pants. <laughs> Um, and Little Big Penis has a Metal Gear Solid download pack, which uh, gives you a whole bunch of stickers and items to create with in the create mode. And the best part about it is it gives you a paintball gun, which adds a lot to you know how you build your levels and what kind of um, you know interactions with enemies you could have. It's it's like a Contra style or. Uh, whatever metal slug type thing you can do with your own levels which is awesome so eventually we're going to see like other things added like double jump uh being able to jump from grabbing on to items like walls or whatever so th- this game is is infinite and in it's you know playability you can because everybody's going to keep making levels for it. you should see the type of shit that's out there okay. so, somebody made a, a dead space level. did you play dead space yet no. Anybody? I yeah, have, that was I one, have it, but I haven't played it. Yet. That's yeah. one of the best games of the entire year. Yeah, I, I still haven't played it, but someone made it this base little big planet level, and it's 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 unbelievable. You gotta let me play it before I leave. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I tried to play it in like one of the stores, and I really don't see the intrigue. I, I, you I will once we I all have it. a controller. It's it's crazy. Okay, fun. like I maybe I'm just it's stupid because that's quite possible. And I was playing, and you know, like talking. I, I could see like how that. it wouldn't be fun. And I'm like. What the you know, I don't know why he's talking about this like it's the best thing ever because I just didn't. I, maybe I just you, don't get it. You and can't you have show fun me. in a store with a yeah. game like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's great when you play with a bunch yeah. of people. Yeah, okay. J- Jay was over like during yeah. uh, New Year's or whatever Christmas, and um, and he brought his wife and she was loving it too. And uh, so there's there's four of us playing like, and we got to the end of a level, mm-hmm. and and we're like, yeah, we got there, but Jay was the only one alive. And he goes, well, what happens if I do this? And he jumped off into the fire <laughs> and killed himself. So we would have had to go through the whole level again. And, and I'm just looking. I'm like, what the, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> we spent like 45 minutes going through this level. What the fuck are you level. doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and he just jumps off. And he's laughing. Dude, oh, I'm so funny. And, and I'm like, you're an asshole. I know. But it, it was funny afterwards. But I was so mad for like 20 minutes. But see, that's my problem. Like, who the fuck am I playing with? That, yeah, you have to play that game. Well, I don't know. I like it by myself, but you, that's a game that really... I mean, that's like another thing, like Rock Band. I'd never get Rock Band, because I don't have fucking friends. No, no. I, <laughs> you know, like, who am I playing with? You know, Unless I'm going to play the drums play, and the bass and right. sing. Like, if if you want to play drums, you know, to try to learn how to play drums, it's fun to play by yourself, but 
No, not guitar. It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, like I had guitar here, and that was fun for a while. But again, that's fun with friends either around waiting to get their turn. Exactly. It's more fun like when you have more people there and hanging out and watching you play. You pretend like you're a fucking rock star. You know. Yeah. It it gets real old real quick when you're by yourself. Indeed. What else multiplayer came out this uh, this year? Left for Dead, is that any good? I heard it. I haven't gotten the demo. I heard it's really good. Really good the demo was play. awesome. I heard it's we really played the demo. That was fun. I played yeah. it at my cousin's house, and it seemed good. It's frantic. But it seemed like it got it would get it's boring. repetitive. Yeah, it seemed like it would get really repetitive. Really? After so it was it like yeah. a Dynasty Wars repetitive? No, like <laughs> nothing is that repetitive. Like, I'm just asking because that's the just the worst. The whole plot is to get out of the city, and that's basically what you do the whole game. You just run around and shoot. You just shoot zombies. Got and zombies run at you, uh, and then you just shoot, the, shoot, the shoot. Apparently, the AI in that game is like, like leaps and bounds ahead of anything else. Really? Uh, like, if you're doing really well and you're like at the end, it'll, it'll completely throw flip wave. around on you yeah. and like throw like massive amounts of zombies at you, and you'll get screwed. No, oh, that sucks. No, that's cool. <laughs> it's cool, but it sucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. you think it's cool now, but if you play and that shit happens to you, you're like, what the fuck is this? Then I won't play it. <laughs> you won't play it ever again. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> shit's too hard. Yeah, that's why I don't beat anything anymore. We need we need more sponsors that will send us free games so we can play these true. things. All, you know, like Wait, have we, you had a sponsor? We say yet? more like <laughs> we have. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm just thinking that we need more sponsors. A, we need sponsor. a sponsor. <laughs> Someone, please help us. Anybody? What about those shitty little ads we have on our web, like Galactic Fleet? Uh, <laughs> what, what, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know, I gotta take those down because they were like they're actually through this company that people can like find like you know if they want to advertise on our site or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they can basically buy that slot, you know, and put their ad up for X amount of dollars. Or whatever. But is nobody's there bought anything, anything there so when I you click on it? Down, so. We'll just stick with the Google ads for now. So. But what's Galactic Fleet? What happens when you click on it? I have no idea. I think it's, like, <laughs> it's like I don't. I don't work for them, Jack. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't work don't for them. They just pay it. me. Okay. I, think it, I think it brings you to the the. Here, let's find out. But I think it brings. You, <laughs> let's take a look. See. I think it brings you to the place where you can actually advertise on the site. Right? Okay. But let's see. There's Oop. a dating thing there too with s- somewhat hot chicks from 1982. <laughs> That's cool. I kind of want to be. It should off on rotate. Them. I mean, it shouldn't always be the same shit. But. Well, while he's looking Stay that tuned. up, what else have we got going on today? Uh, that's pretty much it. I think it's time. What you buying? Time. What you playing? Well, I mean, so what you what you playing? What you uh, a little big planet? <laughs> Why did you say you just got a Trojan? Well, I got some, I got some beasts to pick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go go right ahead. So I don't know. I I know Kish plays Call of Duty. Um, have you played the new Call of Duty War at War? Yeah, I just played the single player and beat it through. Do you like it? Uh, not as much as four. Call of Duty 4. <laughs> you see, I like this one more than 4 because I'm better at this one because clowns like you yeah. that can like throw grenades off of three walls and hit me in the face <laughs> with it before I even move. You know, there's too many of you in Call yeah. of Duty 4. Like, I can actually kill somebody in World at War. Uh, I haven't played the multiplayer. The, the multiplayer is good. Honestly, I don't think it's good as 4, but I like it better because I don't suck as much at it. Yeah. Because, you know, hopping into Call of Duty 4, like, I just got Call of Duty. I got Call of Duty 4 after I got World at War. Oh, yeah. And, and you get into it, and it's like you don't know the maps, and it takes, it yeah, takes a little while to get, get the maps figured out where people yep. hide and the guns and stuff like yeah. that. Besides the fact that how you, how you get guns as you go up and level, yeah. all these other guys have all these crazy guns, and you got a pea shooter. It's yeah. just not fun. So I'm playing World at War, and I'm actually pretty decent at World at War. Like I can, you know, I can bank frags off of two walls, not three yeah. yet. But, you, know, I can hit, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty good at it. So I'm at level 52. Um, mm-hmm. A couple days ago, and it goes up to sixty five before you hit the whole prestige thing. Yeah. So I'm at fifty two, and uh, and then the wifey asked me to go do something. So I, I I turned off the game. I went downstairs, and I come back, and I go upstairs, and I go to log on. It's like Treyarch has reset your level to one. <laughs> what? And yeah, it's what? Treyarch reset your level to one. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard me work. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, and you look and it tells you how many hours you spent playing. And I, you know, I spent 
I spent 29, 29 hours of my fucking life playing this stupid fucking game. Was it in a big, like, shiny bubble? Like, going, you played this long, and now it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was funny, because I had just looked at my, you know, you can look at the leaderboards and stuff yeah. like that, and you can look at how many hours you've played, and it says, one day, four hours and 27 minutes. minutes. I was like, okay, I've, I've wasted a good chunk of my life playing this yeah. game. And I go back, and level one, level one, what the fuck is this? And, like, apparently it happens all the time, and Treyarch can't do anything about it. Whoa. And everybody's like, it's because you're cheating. I'm not cheating. How can you even cheat? I'm not cheating. Uh, so, I got How did they not the do game. anything about it? That doesn't make sense. It, uh, they have, it's sad. There's, a four, there's like two, three forums on the Treyarch website oh, really? just about, reset to level one. What the fuck? Yeah. You, know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's like two or three forums about it, but Treyarch doesn't do anything about it, apparently. It's awesome. Oh, wow. So I vowed never to play it again. Okay, it's like now, the same thing. Now you just turned me away from playing the multiplayer yeah. on that. I'm back to level 20. <laughs> that's like the same thing with the little, little <laughs> no, of Big Of course Planet. I played. You want the only good thing about... What'd you say? I said that's the same thing with Little Big Planet. There's a lot of problems with people's levels getting erased See, because... That shit's the fucking like, worst. Uh, inappropriate content when there was like a step. Yeah, I, you know, with, I just with, don't like, understand. a smiley face on it. But the only yeah. good thing about it is now like, you know... My cat, I'm better at it. Yeah. So so now my kill ratio you move is fast, like move yeah, up faster. Exactly. So I, I mean, you know, I'm moving up uh, twice as fast as I did before, but still, still sucks. Yeah, that's the You know, because I'd be I'd be in prestige at this point. Yeah. But whatever. Oh, you motherfucker! I just noticed your shirt. Yeah. I remember when you got that too, and uh, you I think you got you, one too. You gave me the Donkey Kong one, one right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like <laughs> right when I left Funko Land. I was like, I wish I stayed another week. Yeah. I, g- I gave you the Ice Climbers. No, no, no. no I kept no, Ice Donkey Climbers. Kong. You got two. I gave you two of them. You got two? Donkey Kong and Mario, I think. I kept Zelda, Ice Climbers, and something else. Because they gave us five shirts. Well, I must have given one away because I only have Donkey I Kong I must have now. given you the Mario. Really? Yeah. But whatever. Hate. Hot shirts. Lots of hate. But, that uh, sucks. Now I'm not going to play the multiplayer on it. Uh, yeah, the multiplayer is fun. I, I like it a lot. But like that one thing. And it, it's happened to probably... Probably 100, 150 people. I'm just one of the lucky assholes that it happened to. But whatever. The game's still fun. And, you know, I'm having more fun playing. Like, not when I think about getting set set to level one. But, I mean, I'm I'm having more fun playing because I'm better than a lot of these people. Even though I don't have the good guns anymore. I'm I'm still pretty good. So. So, when they reset you to level one, how many guns did they take away from you? And what else? Like, what else was taken away? I mean, you have – there's 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 a bunch of perks that you can get. Um, I had almost every perk. And perks are like there's one that's Juggernaut, which is like nobody increased used health. It. Increased yeah. health. And then there's okay. there's one that's called Martyrdom. Or you however, drop a grenade yeah, when you Yeah, where die. you drop a grenade when you die. And that, you know, like people are retarded and falling for that shit. I yeah. like how you know, person every single time. term. Yeah. There's one that's called Second Chance that after somebody kills you – um, you can't move, but you can use your handgun and shoot back at them until somebody like shoots you in the shoot. face, oh, okay. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you get double points for everybody that you kill. Like, I lost all of that stuff. Different types of grenades. Yeah. Um, oh, it, was, uh, it made me so mad. Like, I must have lost like 30, 35 perks. Oh my all God. my guns. Like, I had a gun that I was using that it was awesome. And you lose all your guns. You're basically down to down to five guns, yeah. as opposed to you know thirty. Fuck that. So whatever. That's I mean, absurd. it is what it is, and I'm I'm getting back to where I have I a was question. Before. Do you get the flamethrower in the multiplayer? Yes, level sixty five. Do you blow up if you get oh shot? Oh my god, sixty five. Uh, yeah, level sixty five. You fuck get the fucking flamethrower. You want to know what? I was it's real so fucking crazy, close. Though. It's the best yeah. thing. The flamethrower is amazing. It's, that's yeah. awesome. That's all I use during the the, it's, the it's, single player it's campaign. The best. You just run around. Just... Yeah, it's the best. You just tear people. And up. it doesn't and... run out of ammo. Nope. I don't know how it does in multiplayer. It doesn't run out of ammo. It heats up. Yeah. So yeah. like you just have to make sure you don't overheat it. Um I haven't blown any anybody up because there's not yeah. that many people that are level 65 that have it. Like I've seen it in maybe like 3 or 4 games. Mm-hmm. But like these guys are just tearing people up because they yeah. just come around the corner like <laughs> with the flamethrower. Yeah. It's insane. Now does Kiefer Sutherland's voice add a lot to the game? I I like 24 so for me, me it too. does. Yeah. For me it does. I like, you know. I didn't even notice. You didn't notice <laughs> really? it was Kiefer Sutherland no. with the Marines? No. That's funny. <laughs> I, I, I think he's an awesome actor. Like, I just plowed through those, the single I player because be I, I, I haven't played video games in months, and I was just so eager to like play games again that I've just been like plowing through everything. Yeah. Like I play in the past week, I, I've played Call of Duty, World at War, finished that. I finished all the the main storyline of Saints Row Two and like all like and some of the side missions. And I just finished Gears of War Two yesterday, and I finished all three of those in a week. Wow! And now nice. I'm playing Far Cry Two. 
So wow. Jesus Christ. I remember the first Far Cry for the PC. That was really good. I was no good at it, but... Does Kiefer Sutherland go, Tell me where the bomb is! <laughs> <laughs> he, he curses a lot. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like in multiplayer, he's like, Nice work! Nice fucking work! No, he doesn't. Get <laughs> he out does of here, too. Yeah. That's now hilarious. I gotta play multiplayer. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> is he the main character, or is he just like a sergeant that screams he's like the He's like the narrator. Uh, there's a, there's a, a couple different storylines that kind of really don't have anything to do with each other. I mean, they do, but they don't. And he's just like the main narrator for, for like the Marine side, like the U.S. Marine side of... of uh, of the whole thing. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I didn't even, I really didn't even notice. Yep. The second I, I the second I started playing, I was like, that's fucking key for Sutherland. And I was looking through the box trying to figure it out to make sure I was crazy. <laughs> yeah. But then other people noticed it too, so I realized I wasn't nuts. I used to work with a kid that called him Keither. Keither Sutherland. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was 44. So far. Oh, well. Uh, quick Wait, aside, no, no. anybody here watch Twin Peaks when it was out or somewhat? No. no. Was that a porno movie? No, no, no. Well, yeah, actually it is. <laughs> it it is, sure but it is. after the show came out. I just, um, uh, I just actually got that for my wife for Christmas, believe it or not. It's from like 1991 or something. <laughs> and it's, it's, a, it's a crappy fucking... I can dream, can I? Uh, what do they call it? Like, Days of Our Lives part in the show. And then there's like a really like crazy like x file shit going on in the background it's really good but it ends so weird and uh because i guess they never got picked up for a third season and I, I watched the movie of it last night after finishing the uh the series and the movie sucks so bad it, it answers no questions whatsoever yeah. it makes me so mad that they stopped it though but anyway mm, I no, nobody cares <laughs> Why, are they coming out with a video game for that or something? I wish. <laughs> so, on the website, like, a, a while ago, I, I put my crazy face on there with, with some sort of thug do-rag on saying that I was coming out with a, a review, but I've been so goddamn busy that it's... it's that was it, five months ago. Yeah, it's yeah. been in the same spot, like, <laughs> forever. So, like, my whole review thing was about Fable, because I was playing... I wanted to try and play Fable 1 mm-hmm. before Fable 2 came out and try mm-hmm. and beat it and stuff like that. And I thought the, I thought Fable 1 was actually pretty good. Yeah. You liked it when you played it, right? Yeah, I liked it. I, I have Fable 2, I just haven't played it yet. Okay, yeah. then I won't get into my I rant about games. Fable 2. That's all right. I know how that. I know the opening. I played the. I played like the first hour of it at my friend's house. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I don't want to spoil anything for you. Like, I'm not gonna get into storyline. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, you could plug your ears up or whatever. I don't a, give a shit. Smidge of a spoiler warning. Like Fable Two, like the game was really, really good. The way you use the magic and stuff like that is mm-hmm. awesome. Like it's yeah. much better um, this time because uh, uh, like you don't have like a magic meter. In oh, the, in yeah. The, yeah, there's no real magic meter, but you you know, so it's it's much better. And the story is actually really, really good. Mm-hmm. But my biggest gripe with the game is like every game like that needs some kind of big boss battle, you know, like and and there's like there's like a villain in it, and there's yeah. you know, um, but the end there is there's it's the most anticlimactic thing that I've ever played in my entire life. Like you know, like I said, plug your ears or whatever. But like the end of the game, there's no there's no big boss battle. Mm-hmm. All it is is like you go in somewhere and you shoot shoot some guy that talks at you, and you shoot him once and he dies and that's it. That's the end of the game. Wow. And I, I was I was so pissed off, like because the game was so good, they did such a good job with it, mm-hmm. and they have yeah. so much other stuff in there. Like you can buy and buy property and rent it out to make money, and like even if you don't play for like you know three weeks, you come back. You made all that money from that three weeks. So, like, if you want to pile money up and play other games, like, if you have a bunch of properties and you can buy, you can buy, like, little market stands and stuff like that, people that sell things, you go back. And, like, I, I turned on the game, you know, a couple days ago. And, like, they're like, you got 127,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it's like, all right. And not, like, have anything to spend it on, but whatever. Well, you know, while the game's off. Year old while the game's off, yeah. Different. It's kind of like an Animal Planet sort of sort of thing where, like, once it's off, you, you turn it back on and it knows how much time has passed since the Xbox. Animal Alien. Planet. Animal Crossing. Sorry. <laughs> I like the TV show. <laughs> City folk? <laughs> but. So, um, a word of caution, actually. But I actually downloaded Fable 1. Uh, as you know, an Xbox original game, you can download it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, super glitchy. Um, doesn't actually play that well mm-hmm. on the 360, even though it's supposedly patched and supposedly working and everything. Locks up a lot, freezes up a lot, and has a lot of like little audio glitches in it. So, just word of caution if you're planning on downloading it. So. If you have like the regular CD, it played the regular CD played okay on yeah on Xbox 360 because I played it. Doesn't that's weird. 
Yeah, I don't know. I had a bunch of problems with the download. Maybe they're still perfecting it. I haven't played it in a while, but when I first downloaded it, like it would lock up a lot on me, and it would uh, the, the audio would behave like really weird. Plus, I was pissed that you couldn't get a cheap. No, oh, that's true too. Like a lot of the audio on like the Xbox games that I've played are, are just real glitchy on and and like crackly, and it'll stop and go. Like I was playing um, Knights of the Old Republic two on three hundred and sixty, and the yeah. audio is fucking retarded. It just yeah. cuts in and out, and it's like click 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 click. It's really <laughs> annoying. Uh, does anybody have you got anything to say, Jay? <laughs> um, I don't play online. <laughs> right. No fucking clue. I have nothing to interject. Wait, why? Why don't you have your system hooked up to the network? I don't want to play. Oh, to Netflix? No, to the network. Like you, you don't. You don't have your PS... I was actually leeching off somebody for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then they found out. <laughs> then I got pissed off and just out of spite didn't put anything on. We got. I got to set something up. We got other yeah, shit to take care of right now. Mm, whatever. I only play online. Like, I don't... You know, I don't play games anymore. Like, the single player. Like, the Call of Duty stuff. I, was yeah. I like the um, single player in it. I, I might be close to beating it. I have no idea. But, mm. um... But, like, I just play online because, you know, the online is just kind of endless. You don't really yeah. – yeah. you, you can't really get bored of it because it's different every time. I mean, you can, but, like, the game is different every time. And there's, there's different people you play with, you know. There's there's people that are really good and there's people that really suck. And hopefully you can get in one of the rooms mm-hmm. that the people, people really, really suck. suck. That way you can get 27 kills and no deaths because <laughs> that's hot. Real quick back to Jay. Um you know, I, I know you have a, a child coming and everything, but all the rage these days is throwing your baby in the dumpster when it's born. So, uh, I heard about video that. game money. <laughs> What's oh, that? Dumpster baby? Pr- prom, yeah, dumpster prom night dumpster baby? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, heard about that shit. With this. My wife got uh, hooked on crack. Luxor. And she hadn't stopped playing. She plays it like four hours. It clicked. It was funny. Every time she takes the Xbox remote and sticks to her stomach, the kid starts kicking. Oh, yeah? yeah? It's definitely your seed. <laughs> Either that or, like, electricity is just leaking into the womb. <laughs> what is it? It's Luxor. It's just like a... What type of game? Like a bust a move. It's just like a bust a move. Oh, okay. Moves around. Or Snood. Zuma. Yeah. I was speaking of which, funny story. I was, uh, I've was i been screwing around with Pogo games lately. Have you ever seen this? You can play, like, um, you know, like, all these, like, little cheap... Yeah, yeah. get them on the cell phone. Like Java yeah, games. exactly. Yeah. yeah, but you play them on the internet, and they're free, and you can build up like tokens. And if you spend tokens, you get like a chance to win like I don't know, a five thousand dollars or something like that. You can put yourself in a daily drawing for fifty bucks or whatever. But anyway, I was screwing around with this, and I and I wrote like this little bot thing that basically, when you play the slot machines on it, it just endlessly clicks the button, so it keeps, just keeps playing the slots. Yeah. And you can just walk away from the computer, and it'll just play for hours and hours and hours on end. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like probably totally against their terms of service, but, well, uh, but I basically <laughs> here comes the cop. <laughs> but basically, I like I I, I I I to see if it would work or whatever. I just like I turned it on and I walked away from my system and came back five hours later and had you know an extra million points or something. Like that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's interesting. All right, I've been trying to cram this in for the last 20 minutes, so I'll just uh, say it now. It has to do with the downloadable games. Remember when Braid came out for the Xbox 360? Yes. yes. Do you, no. You know, do you, right. well, it's a, <laughs> no, it, I do not. It's a very hard platform or puzzle game. Um, does everybody know who the tool Sol- Soulja Boy Tellem is? No. Can I it's eat some these hip-hop chips? artist? Yeah, that's why I brought them. It's, it's, it's some rapper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, oh that video. Yeah, yeah all right. T- so t- we're going to watch this video, and, and the people listening are going to hear the audio from it, which is just as priceless. This this person is the biggest retard you, you'll ever hear or see in your life. Uh, the, I, I, I spent the last two days looking on YouTube for videos of him, and every video that he's on, he pl- yo, yo, it's, it's your boy, soldier boy, tell him here. And uh, he's so fucking high on himself, it's disgusting. But uh, it's quite entertaining, so let's see what we got. I'm going to play that right now. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, it's your boy, so I was about to tell him. And they got this game, right, for people who smoke or people who drink. <laughs> like, if you drink beer and you get drunk, or if you smoke weed and you get high. Oh, and you that's just, what anything, happens. Like, if you, if you, you just be getting fucked up. <laughs> they got this game, right? Oh, no. This shit called Braid. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> See, what's this shit? It's about this little guy in a the, in the suit, and he walk around. And he ain't got no point to the game. You just walk around jumping on shit. It's like, <laughs> like, 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 like
And it's this is why people follow me around stores. Orange and he just walk around jumping shit. But you, what's the funny part about it? You can do this right like this. You. What are you doing? Now you didn't catch that. I just went back in time through the whole game. He just be going back in time. Watch this shit. Like you about to die. He be like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> 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 I wonder how much they smoked before they did this. <laughs> so say like he go up here, right? And he follows the fire. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Who's this guy? Get your ass out, bitch. Watch this shit. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Watch this shit. Oh, oh. Really stoned. Basically, what these guys are doing is they're playing this game. It kind of has like a Prince of Persia effect where you can kind of go back in time and they're jumping off of a cliff and then rewinding it back. That's all they're doing. That's, 75. Yeah, that's that's what they're having so much fun with, just so you people at yeah. home. It's as entertaining as bouncing a ball. Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> I, I, I love the way he describes, he re- reviews this game too, in, in air quotes. Um, how he. There's there's no point to the game, no point at all. Yeah, to them. It, it, you are Mario in a suit with his hair dyed orange, is what he said. <laughs> People yes. are idiots. And Mario from the future. And anyway, uh, it gets <laughs> it gets even better. <laughs> Did you see how far I rewinded that shit? <laughs> what makes it so funny about it? He don't never run out of, the, out of the going back in time potion. No. He just go potion. back in time forever. <laughs> ain't no he's going forever. He's a, and it ain't no point to the game. He just go around. You want to see? Oh, I fell off the ladder. No, I didn't. Wow. He's stupid as hell, they man. just collected a puzzle piece. Apparently that's not part of the game. Because <laughs> there's no point to it. Hey, I just thought I should show y'all that on YouTube and still mass as your shit, man. Oh! 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 So what the hell is Soldier Boy? Is he like famous? He's a or rapper, and um, is he famous? Yeah, isn't that disgusting? He makes a lot of money. What's the shits he playing on the little tiny TV for then? Should he, he have like a fifty-two inch plasma? Oh, I'm sh- he has like ten, I'm sure. Because in other <laughs> in other videos, there's like in one room he's got his PS3 and his Wii, and he's like, I don't play that shit. I'm going back to the room with a 360. And there's another fucking fifty-inch plasma in that room. With a 360, and he, he brings out, like, a stack, and I mean a stack of fucking 360 <laughs> games, and just is throwing them on the ground. So, yeah, I got this one, I got this one, I got this one, I got this one. He's going on and on. There's uh, at least 30, 30 games that he's throwing that are, like, still in the wrapper, and he's like, he's like, oh, I don't like that shit. <laughs> but anyway. Um, all right, we're going to we'll start play. a rap, man, because you, uh, obviously you can be a total idiot. And you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you make just, a lot of money. You just, say, just copy someone else's song, because they all sound the same anyway. <laughs> Sample. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna. Ours have to... goes dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Ours goes dun 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 dun. Exactly. Now going along with what I just played you, I found something else which is just as good, maybe even better. Okay. Okay. So. Wait, wait, what, is, what are we talking about now? Uh, we well, we all just watched that braid video with uh, that toolbox soldier boy tell him um, and someone came out with something right after that this this I, this might be better than what you just saw ready here we go and we wait it's killing me here we go oh man I got this game right People who smoke, people who drink. <laughs> like if you like to drink beer and get drunk. Or if you like to smoke weed and get high. It's just anything. Like if you like if you just be getting fucked up. <laughs> and I got this game, right?
I don't know. This shit called braid. <laughs> about this little guy in a suit and you walk around ain't got no point to the game you just walk around jumping on shit <laughs> <laughs> look like Mario in the future it's Mario with a business suit and his hair dyed orange and a tie on And he just walk around jumping on shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny part is you can do this. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video of this now, guy. If you didn't catch that, black and white. In black I just and white. Back in, <laughs> in all black and white. This guy's a fucking genius. It's like a serious sort of thing. <laughs> Through the whole game, you'd just be going back in time. <laughs> like, watch, watch this. Let's say you're about to die. You'd just be like, oh, shit, shit, I'm going to die. Eh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> then they could just come back. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, you go over here, right, and you fall in the fire. It's like, oh, woo! <laughs> I just psyched your ass out, bitch. <laughs> Let's watch this shit. Oh, woo! It's just like, oh, oh, come here, bitch. <laughs> oh, it's like, you see how far I rewinded that shit? <laughs> wow. You know what makes it so funny about it? He ain't never gonna run out of it. Oh, that going back in time potion. <laughs> you just go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> they just made the video go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no point to the game. Just stupid as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I should just all show you. Wow. <laughs> Genius. So, uh... The funny thing is, is like, com there's comedians that do this, like, a lot... Just read a transcript. Um, like a black, a black guy's uh, stand-up routine, and then a white guy does it like in a serious voice. Yeah. And when I saw the uh, the Soldier Boy version of that, I was thinking about doing something like that, mm -hmm. but then I ran across this. I was like, ah, I can't do that no more. Yeah. But he did it so well that yeah, there's no need good. to. <laughs> what Soldier Boy. Yeah. That's so. Sad. Uh, yeah, it is. It's disgusting, but you get so much entertainment out of it. Um, all right. Well, we've been doing this for like an hour, so it's, I guess we might as well do the game of the year segment that we all came here to do. Are we gonna break it down by platform, or are we just gonna do it? Uh, what do you guys think we should do? Because yeah, do platform. platform and then overall, I guess. All yeah, right. That makes sense. I was also thinking we should do game for the year. Just in case, like, if you played something this year that maybe was released five years ago, but it was so good that you want to give it a little mention, if you can think of anything off the top of your head. No, I can't remember what I did yesterday. Yeah, I can only think of one. I didn't play that's... Bioshock until this year. That game is so fucking yeah, I mean, good. Yeah, that game was awesome. Is it? Yeah. 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 It's, it's ridiculous. It gets repetitive towards the end, though. Yeah, but in the beginning, bit. like, the first time you come across one of those big daddies, yeah. uh, I sat in a room for 15 minutes watching him. Because I was scared to go fight yeah. it. <laughs> you got to play, play him, and then he yeah. charges you, yeah. and I was crapping my pants. No, I never played. You, you missed out. I don't play games. a lot of stuff. Like I don't have any time. Dude, no, find yeah. find sure the time. Jack, you have it. Lend it to. Uh... I, have I it no, too. I don't have it. I have it. If you want to borrow, yeah. I got rid of it a while ago. I have it still. Uh, You're working on two already. When did you get it, Chris? I <laughs> actually bought it the day it came out. Oh, did you? But I didn't play it for... It came out, what, in, like, September, I think, yeah. of last year. Mm -hmm. But I didn't actually play it until, like, January, February ah. of this year. I bought... Because that and Blue Dragon came out on the same day, and I didn't play either of them until this year. Yeah. I still never um, finished Blue Dragon. Yeah, you, you finished it, right? Now, yeah. Yeah. No good, right? It's it's just the same thing yeah. over and over. Mm -hmm. no, and the story's horrible. Yeah. There is no story, basically. Uh, who would like to begin, uh, pick a platform, and we'll see what everybody has to say. Mm. 
I only own 360. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of us only. Yeah, a lot of. Yeah. All right. I have PSP, but honestly, I don't even know what came out. Yeah, I don't. I only have a couple. I have a PlayStation 3. Yeah. <laughs> all right, why don't we start with PS3 then? All right, go ahead, Jay. PS3, what do you got? Well, like, what, first of all, what have you played this year? Oh, uh, Metal Gear, mm-hmm. which you fucking hated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was still phenomenal. And what else? Uh, I got uh, Valkyria Chronicles that I'm trying to play right now, which Chris would probably like because it's just like... That was, is that the one where it's like shooting, it's like strategy each one? Yeah, it's all yeah. strategy, yeah, but that, it's just all anime really characters. Good. Yeah, yeah. Jack. And the graphics are just not cool. it. Super good, super cool. Who put it out? Yeah. You remember? Um, Sega. Yeah, this is Sega. Sega. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's got, uh, it's got all the characters Sega from... Sega still uh, has a few gems. Skies of Arcadia. Yeah, Skies of Arcadia. Oh. It's got a bunch of those characters in it. But the game's nuts. <laughs> just a side note, remember that guy, Jason, that drove the Pepsi truck? Yeah. That he's like, you gotta play Skies of Arcadia! Oh, yeah. Their expressions are the best! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did good you guys ever play that for Dreamcast? No. Oh, no, I, I had it for game. GameCube. It was fucking retarded. Their expressions went from like nothing to like this outlandish, either like smile or their eyes roll. They're like, <laughs> you know, I, you guys can't see me listening, but it, it went from nothing to st- like like somebody just kicked them in the face. It was retarded. Earl used to while we were working at Funkland, he was explaining this game to me, and I hadn't played it yet. And he goes, he goes, their facial expressions are retarded. They go like. <laughs> and he'd get all he'd get Earl would get in my face with his teeth like in my eyeballs. They were like scratching the cornea. It was ridiculous. But, but isn't was that funny. a good description? It is a very good because because then I played it like a month later and I was like I don't know what he's talking about. They're not. Oh my god! And then they did that with the teeth in your face. It was retarded. I, it whatever. was funny though. Sorry, sorry to cut in. I just figured I'd throw that out there. Yeah. No, I still got to beat that game. So that's up there. mm Hmm. But Metal Gear's don't... I mean, every other fucking game that's out there is, like, cross-platformed anyway. Yeah. There's nothing really good independent for a PS3. Ever. So, w- w- which is the number one for... Oh, Metal Gear's gonna be... Metal cool. Gear, really? Yeah. You know what? In about three years, I'm gonna be coming back, if we're still doing the podcast then, and I'm gonna go, you know what, guys? I finally finished Metal Gear, yeah, and it was I the greatest it. game yeah. I've uh-huh. ever played in my life. <laughs> and and I'll be, you know, eating my underwear, because I think I said something about that. I don't I like the, the video game review sites... Gave it like everybody their, gave it a their, fucking that ten. Doesn't, that doesn't mean yeah, anything. I mean, though. no, you know but I mean, I mean, like the, for their games, their game of the year reviews, they all like loved it. So I just don't. I know. guess it's got to be good. It's, it's probably pretty good. Know. But you know, my thing is, is like I don't want to play a movie. Like I'm sure there's good gameplay features, but I hear there's much more movie than there's gameplay. Yeah, because well, like, so, they're trying to wrap up the story. That's no, why. I, yeah. I understand that, and that's cool. But like, there's a lot of fighting time in the game. I mean, people are just. Focusing on the fact that there's that there's ten hours, but of the CG. controls didn't annoy you at all. No, I, I all. couldn't control the camera half the time. Every time I'd walk up behind a guy, he'd see me. It, I am bad at those games, but I'm not that bad. Well, this where... game's highly based on stealth. I, mean, I know it's not like the other ones. You just go around and pop at people in the ass. I, see, I've played see, I Metal Gear stand... before. I, I know. <laughs> I just I can't play games like that anymore. Anyway, like like the Splinter Cell games. Fucking They're so good. They're so, so hard. Good. But I'm fucking terrible at them. You, like, yeah. yeah. I, I just can't do it. Like, the spider down from the ceiling yeah. and all this crazy shit, hiding people in corners. I'm fucking awful at it. I can't even beat the second level. Forget it. Yeah. I bought it and I should snap the disc in half. <laughs> Which one? The 360 one? Yeah, the one on 360. Yeah, I only played the demo Double of that Double agent one, or and whatever. It, was, it seemed really good. It is really good, like, but... Too hard. I, I, don't, I don't know how good it is because it can't yeah. get past the second fucking level. I'm... Yeah. I'm terrible I have at it. it. Uh, I don't have that much patience. Tomorrow. Is that for Xbox? Original Maybe that's Xbox? the one. I have one for the original Xbox. I forget which one it is. I only ever played the first one, and it was so hard. I mean, I got yeah. like a couple levels in, but it was just so hard. Yeah, I didn't have the patience for it, man. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Like, I don't have patience. Like, I could do it, but like, I just don't care enough to. Yeah. Well, Metal Gear, I mean, you, there's a lot of stealth involved, but then after a while, you just get you just stand up and start shooting people in the face. Oh, okay. So you can get away with that, but yeah, still, this no this game you can't. Stealth. It's now, like do only they, stealth. Do they reward you for playing stealth, though? Like, yeah, at the end it, of the game? It unlocks certain shit. Yeah. But, I mean, you gotta go through the entire game without... Getting like, seen and shit. Yeah, yeah. fuck See, that. that. No, Just, that's, that's too hard. Fuck, fuck that. that. Yeah. Um, I couldn't even do that in the first one. Alright, well, my vote, obviously, for PS3 for the year is Little Big Planet. I can't recommend it enough, and I will say no more. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have a PS3 yet. So I don't Please any. get one. I was Please. gonna. But like, what am I gonna play on it? All Lemonade. The, all the stuff that I can <laughs> play on on uh, PS3, 
that I want to play, I can play on 360. So why you can't play Little PS3? Big Planet. But once again, we spoke about this. You Little can't Big play Planet Calling awesome. All Cars. I don't even know what that is. It's a wonderful multiplayer game. But like Little Big friends, Planet, you just like you said, it's fun when you have a lot of people. I don't have any fucking friends, so who's who am I playing with? We can with? play online. It'll almost be as fun mm. as playing in the same room. Mm. Almost. I can't. I can't condone buying a video game system for like one or two games. It just, just doesn't I, make sense. It's got well, Blu-ray. I could, see, I could <laughs> but not a four hundred dollars yeah. system. Even if, exactly. it's, even if you're buying it as a Blu-ray player, like. But you know, I, I wouldn't want to because like that was a, a big part of the problem with the PS2s breaking. People were using it as DVDs, and when you watch yeah. DVDs, the, the it spins the entire time, as opposed to games where it loads up and it doesn't spin the whole time. It was ruining the drives. Yeah. So I wouldn't even use the thing for a Blu-ray player because I'd be afraid that I'd be out of $400 because Sony sucks and they're not going to fix anything. Yeah. At least when Microsoft had all their problems, you know, they would let you send it back in. They'd send you a brand new one. Like, they took care of it. Well, they anticipated that. Did you see the new book that came out recently? Mm-hmm. It was based on the engineers that built the cell chips. Yeah, I heard about IBM. that. It was the same engineers that built the same things for 360. Really? Yeah, except that it was in the IBM building, but the people... That were building the chips for the Xbox 360 were using the original blueprint blueprint for the blueprint? cell, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they were two floors above them in the building, and they're keeping secrets between each other. Like they're hiding the information on the desk. It's, we got to pull up the book. Go to like uh, Kotaku. Oh, oh weird. Is this? Uh, okay, good. Um, but essentially, they built the chips for 360 based on the PS3, and they got them out quicker because of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, th- that's actually another uh, good point about shit breaking, though. Um, with the 360, all you have to do is swap the hard drive, right? Yeah. Wow, Pete's here. <laughs> Pete right? was here for and our anyone? very first podcast, and now he's here for our very last podcast of the year. Nice. Um, does a- anybody know this? January 3rd. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm listening. What's, What's up? up? Um, with the 360, when it breaks, it's it's shot. All you have to do is put the hard drive in a new system, right? And everything you have, I well, believe you have so. To, you, yeah. you have to send it, it out. It, no, what what happens is you you take the hard drive off the old one, you put in the new one, and basically it just asks you to like re-verify like your, okay. your live account. So like you just have to put in like your your whatever Windows Live ID and stuff mm-hmm. just to make sure. Just okay. like you don't have to. You don't. Everything is still saved on there. You just have to re-verify. See, that's a beautiful thing. But I think it just has to like sync the hard drive. Back with the with, with the, the PS3, system. I I know from taking, maybe it ha- doesn't have to do with a new system though. But when I took my hard drive over to Jason's house to play Rock Band, like all the songs unlocked because yeah. I didn't know there was a code at the time, uh, I put my hard drive in his system and it, it didn't work. It like asked for something that I didn't have and I was like, what, what the fuck is this so I mean that that's a big problem because you know it's going to break because it's made by Sony yes. so when that day comes I, I guess that's the day I start playing I don't playing. know if you could do the same thing with your Xbox honestly like, really? I don't know if you could bring your Xbox hard drive to my, <laughs> to my house and expect it to play uh, all your stuff from my machine you can't I, I know like um, I don't think you can and especially with like even with different um different like user IDs it's real mm-hmm. finicky like it wants people to you know unlock their own shit like when i right. like i had i had um i had to put a, a number at the end of my you know, my username because they closed it out cuz i hadn't played on regular xbox for so long mm-hmm. and like all my games i had played on on um on xbox 360 with that ejkewl thing ej but, cool yeah ej cool i'm real fucking cool uh, <laughs> but uh, then I had to switch to two, and then I, I was transferring my save files between just the two call tags. And I like, listen, you know, the Xbox, listen, buddy, <laughs> you can't do that. You're really? not going to get any of your achievements and none of this other stuff. So, like, I lost a bunch of achievements. I lost a, you know what I mean? So that kind of sucks, too. But that is jerked. whatever. That's jerked off. So, anyway, I think it's, a, it, it's an issue with both systems i don't think it's specific to ps3 yeah well whatever i I still think microsoft's much better about fixing their problems than sony ever was yeah i like the fact that um you know when i had to send my machine back and i got a new one like 
all my stuff was still on it. I didn't have to fuck around with anything. It was already set up and ready. Oh, yeah? They set it up for you and everything? Yep, right out of the box. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That is good. (laughs) I didn't realize they did that shit. Mm. I didn't have to reinitiate anything or download anything. It was all there. Sony didn't do a fucking thing for me, but they did send me an extra controller for free. So that was kind of nice. That's 50 They might have made a mistake. I'm sure they did. (laughs) They're coming for you right now. They hear this shit. They're not trying to be nice. I know that. I'm sure that's... (laughs) Cops are back. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they didn't do that shit on purpose. I can guarantee you that shit. Wait, what a whole new system from Sony. Because the first one burned out, the fan like fried. Yeah. See, that happened to Jack though too. But when they was sent my you drive. the replacement, they sent him the one that doesn't isn't backwards compatible. No, right? no, no. They sent me the same type. Yeah, they sent me the same. Not the, the same system. Gig? Oh, okay. So whatever. It was yeah, that's right. The new ones they took out the backwards compatibility, right? Yeah, that was yeah. smart. Yeah. Thanks. I like how they talk shit about Xbox. They did. All their games aren't backwards compatible, and all of ours will be. <laughs> How could you release a system like that? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then two months later, we're taking it out. Yeah. No backwards Enjoy. compatibility. What was it? It was hardware backward compatible? Well, you can play PS1 games in any PS3, which is retarded. You can play PS1, yeah. but not PS2. Yeah. Probably because it's software That's emulated. Stupid. That's why. That's uh, dumb. All right. Anyways, uh, sticking with Sony, let's move on to the PSP. I'm picking Space Invaders Extreme for Game of the Year. Yeah, I mean... I honestly don't know what came out for PSP this year, but uh, Space Invaders Extreme is probably my choice if I was going to pick something. It's a good game. Um, the only other one I could have even possibly put down, which was released like two or three years ago, was Ultimate Ghost and Goblins. I have already jizzed about that game enough, so I won't say anything. But yeah, yeah I mean, I, I played a bunch of stuff on it. Like, uh, what was that game we were playing for a while? The uh... You could get your, your union? Yeah, you get your <laughs> union or whatever. That was pretty good, but it got boring after a while. Uh, Space Invaders Extremes is simple, but it doesn't get boring for no, some reason. No, it doesn't. Uh, what the fuck else came out for it? Therein lies the problem. Yeah. Yeah, the, the few games that are good are are absolutely amazing, but there's like five. But Whatever. What about Nobody else here has a PSP besides me and Chris, right? Yet. Right. No. No. Mine. Uh, Xbox, then? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, we and DS, we can do this real quick. Nothing and nothing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I like Trauma Center. Yeah, that, that actually is a lot of fun. Yeah, I have but, a lot of fun with Trauma Center. Was that was the second one this year? I don't know. I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think so. I think that game's... I never played it for the Wii, but I, the one on the DS, oh, I had a lot it, of it's fun. It's way better on the Wii. Yeah? Yeah. No. It's awesome. Mario Kart was a huge disappointment this year. Or was mm. it last year? Who knows? The Is that the one that came no, with that was, this, that was this year. I think it was May it came yeah. out. Huh? Was that the one that came with the, the Mario Kart on the DS wheel. was a disappointment, too. No, that's good. It's good because you can play it online. It's and you can it's turbo in the corners. It's the 64 one. <laughs> yes. How many times did you play it? Once for five minutes? I played you online, jerk. You did? Yeah. <laughs> When we first got it, really, we played remember. it like six times, and they were like, "Oh, whatever." Yeah, let's Thank play every day. Don't you have yeah. to put in like? <laughs> yeah, we say that about everything. <laughs> and we're then never. We're again. gonna do this every yeah. night. Yeah. Mm. Or not. Yeah. But whatever. It was fun. But speaking of uh, racing games, mm-hmm. I got the 360 wireless racing wheel. And Why? it's awesome. Really? Why? It is really, really good. Who's it made by, Logitech? No, it's made by Microsoft. Really? It's heavy. Like, it's solid feeling. Mm-hmm. It clamps down and everything. It comes with a brake and a gas pedal that mm-hmm. attaches to it. And it has force feedback. So, like, it's fighting you when you're trying to make turns and stuff. It actually feels like you're driving. Okay, something. so it's, 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 not like, it's not like it just shakes and shit like that. No, it no. Like, it actually it fights you turning and, and stuff like, like that. that. That's yeah. cool. It is really well done. I got mine used for I think it was sixty dollars, and it was awesome. It's That's probably one of the bad. best peripherals that I've ever bought for like any game system. Better than the Super Scope Six. <laughs> I still have my Super Scope. <laughs> <laughs> How many racing games do you have? Uh, three, I guess. That's worth having then. Yeah. Does it work on everything? It works with everything from uh, Project Gotham Racing Three on up. What, only Microsoft or? No, no, everything's compatible. So, like the Need for Speed games and stuff yeah, like that would work? Yeah, they'll work on it. Uh, Need for cool. Speed, Forza Mo- Motorsport, the po- Project Gotham series, all those things work fine. Burnout. You try it on dirt. Would it work with demos or no? Would you know, I don't know. I'll try it. Try it, because that game's a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Any, did you have to play that? Dirt? No. no that, that's I saw it and racing. I just assumed it would be terrible. No, it's, it's real good. good. I, yeah, I, I don't like racing games. That's true. 
good to the point where you should buy it or like I, I almost did. So see, I have a hard time buying racing games yeah. just because like they seem pointless. Yeah, after yeah. a while it's just like why bother? And then you like I tried playing uh like I bought some of the Need for Speed games for Xbox, which are actually really fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like like Hot Pursuit is really fun and then Carbon Baller. <laughs> Buckets <laughs> <laughs> and the Need for Speed Carbon's pretty fun too. But um, but like I, I, you try playing online, these fucking guys, like I don't know what kind of cars they have, but forget it. That shit's not even fun. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But um, beep beep beep. Yeah, basically, <laughs> you know they <laughs> laugh at like three times on the two lap race. <laughs> so like I, you know, whatever. But the game, it's playing the game itself is fun. But once you beat it, there's just no sense in playing it ever again. Yeah. Which game is this? The Need for Speed, like any racing game, really. Uh, like, but Need for Speed games, like I had a lot of fun with them. But like once you beat them, it's like oh, I don't want to play it anymore because there's nothing left to do. Jack, did you play uh, Resistance Two for no. PlayStation? No, uh, I played uh. that. It was how is it? That was uh, it wasn't as good as the first one. Yeah, nice. yeah. apparently because they, they were saying like oh you find like these giant monsters and whatnot, but the same shit as Gears of War Two. Yeah. yeah, people are like, it's the PlayStation Halo. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't that great. Okay, that's what I figured. Uh, Killzone Two is coming out somewhat soon. Killzone Two looks that looks crazy that looks really good. good. Did you play the first one? No, I beat the first one. Good. It's, no? eh. Oh, yeah. that's a game that came yeah. out for PSP this year. Killzone Liberation. <laughs> nah, that was that's got to be last year. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or if not earlier, it's old. Really? Yep. Uh, I guess uh, in a sense we could say give a Game Boy Advance section just for the one game that did come out, Mother 3, even though it's a illegal, or an, I don't know if it's illegal, but the the fan translation of it, that was amazing. Yeah, that counts. Yeah, okay. No one's paying our bills yet. We can... Word. No. No. Yeah, we wish we got paid for it. Um, Alright, well, last but not least, Xbox 360, let's go. What's anybody got? What'd you play uh, for? Dead you? Space. Really? Fuck yeah. Yeah? Oh, well, only the... That's the All year, there's a lot part. of games that came out. Think about it. Well, I just got my Xbox. Oh. So, it was my best. That was the best one of the year for me. I mean, I got a few that I really liked. Um, you know, I, I would easily put make it Fable if, the, if it wasn't so... Like, the ending wasn't so yeah. terrible. Um, Did that ruin the whole game, though? It... Honestly, to, for me, it did. Really? Wow. And really, because the game was so good, and to have it end the way it ended was just like, it was, I felt like it was a waste of my time playing it. Does it have multiple endings, and you just saw one of them, or? No. No. There's just one <laughs> ending. <laughs> and it's the worst ending ever. Like, it's not like it has seven endings, and I fucked something up in the middle of the game, or something like that. No. Hitler's head doesn't explode. Yeah. <laughs> it was the oh, worst. Oh, we forgot about that. That came out this year. Yeah, by Anna Commando. Oh, that, that might, ooh, that's got to be somewhere on that list. Um, what other choices did you have, Earl? Besides, I mean, like the gears, the gears, of, gears of War Two is um is really really good. Like I like I said, I haven't played through the whole thing, uh-huh. but I because I'm not that good at it. But I can appreciate the fact that it's a really really good game and it's uh-huh. really well done and the environments are good mm-hmm. and the control steam is really really good. Um, Cross platform game, Grand Theft Four. Honestly, I hate all the Grand Theft games. Yeah, except for the top, except for the top down ones. It was um, obnoxious because my wife was sitting there watching me play for the first time, and she's like, "Holy shit, are you sitting in traffic?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and like two minutes awesome. later, she's like, "Oh my god, are you going through the car wash?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." We're gonna get divorced. <laughs> get divorced. But like, These are the things I ask you to do, and you never want to do them for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta drive across town. <laughs> I have to get there and kill somebody. There's a hooker to hit. <laughs> uh, that's another quick, funny little aside. Um, uh, Jay's been unemployed for quite some time now, and uh, his... <laughs> thanks for announcing oh, that yeah, to the entire to world. Huh? I'm going to school. Well, yeah, I know, but you're still unemployed. Yeah. Um, he makes it seem like you're a bum, yeah. nah, asshole. Well, listen, listen. <laughs> so, uh, so he lives on the street. I'm getting so we we made we were talking about um, like since his like wife works and everything. Like I go, yeah, Adrian, when you come home and Jay's looking through the paper, it more it more likely goes like this. He's playing video games all day. Here's her car pull up, throws down the controller, picks up a paper, starts circling things when she walks in the door, and he's like exhausted. Oh, 
I'm exhausted. I've been looking all day for a job. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll unwind and play a little video games. Throws the paper to the side, picks up the controller again. Was that game on pause, Jay? No, I just turned it on. Wait, why did you circle this masseuse job? <laughs> <laughs> Happy ending? <laughs> Chris, game of the year. Uh, what are your choices? Oh, well, I mean, there's a lot of games that came out this year that were pretty good. I mean, um, they all came out towards the end of the year, though, is the problem. I mean, yeah, Gears I 2, which I thought was good, but honestly, it, it wasn't such a, like a, a huge leap forward from Gears 1 that I would have yeah. made it like my favorite game of the year. It was but, good, but it was kind of like... Gears one with yeah. some extra content. It was a but continuation. Not, right? not to interject so much, but I think most of the added content was all online. Have you played a lot online? No. No. Because they added a ton of stuff online. They added like the horde, there's more people that you can play online. That's with. only online, the horde thing? <laughs> no, you can play system you, you like can, on that. And you can play yeah. local, I think, for Horde as well. I haven't played yeah. it because of, I don't have any friends either. But <laughs> yeah. I thought you could do that just one player. But um, yeah, you, you can. Do that I think player. it's one to four people. I mean, it's like one to five or something like that. Yeah. But you, we really wouldn't want to do that. That sounds. Player. I never, I never did. Um, I never play multiplayer until I beat a game all the way through, like solo. Honestly, I don't know if it's just a throwback from. Okay, that's the main point of the game. Like, mm. and then the multiplayer is kind of a tack on kind of thing. I guess for games like Call of Duty and you know, um, you know, Gears of War, it's not like that anymore. It's more that uh, the multiplayer is really an intrinsic part of the experience now. But I don't know. It's just the way that I play games. I beat them all the way through on uh, single player, and then go back and play a multi. When yeah, I that's what people. I do. Too. And I don't that's like it. playing with you know random people. Yeah, random people. Like I'd rather like call Jack or you guys and be like, hey, let's play Gears of War or something. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And we get together. At least then I know like four people who I'm going to be playing with. You know, yeah. and even even if everybody else sucks, at least I can have fun. You know. So, um, so not taking into account the multiplayer aspects of the game, I would say that it was. It was a good addition to Gears of War 1, but there was nothing that really made it so different from the first one for me that I would really say. I, I think it was comparable to the first one. Yeah, I don't think it was really. better than the first one, honestly. No, no, I, I agree with that, but yeah. also, like, was there anything wrong with the first one, you know? Like, how no, much more stuff did you really I mean, do to it, you yeah. know what I mean? Like I mean, like, would, like, really what I was... Evil stuff. For, even if it was, like, a giant leap forward in just... Uh, graphics or something like i would be like i would be impressed or something but it wasn't i mean the graphics were pretty much the same as the first one there were some bigger kind of bosses in it the ending was there seems to be a lot more going well, it's gonna on, be part of a trilogy is, anyway yeah, yeah. The, the ending honestly was so so it wasn't all that great i thought the ending of the first one was way better more challenging for death. yeah the, en- oh, the end yeah. boss for the second one was just you know oh, yeah, a joke. Was you just hold the button down yeah exactly yeah. i mean it was re- it was retarded so mm-hmm. um so and, and it only took me two two days to beat the game so I mean, right there, it's like, okay, when you can beat a solo game in two days of really not playing that much, like, probably, like, you know, four hours a day or something, spend about eight hours total playing the game, and you can beat it, that's, you know, that's, That's there's something wrong with the challenge. I didn't play it on insane or something, but I did play it on normal, you know, like, uh, should be a little tougher. So that was another choice. Uh, Call of Duty was great, you know, um. Uh, I, that's another one that you, I think really to get the full worth of the game you have to play it multiplayer Absolutely. You know? yeah. and I haven't played multiplayer with it that, all that much like the, the single player campaign was great and there were some awesome things in that game but honestly uh, if I was going to say what the best game for the year for me anyway was it was definitely Fallout 3 Fallout 3 okay. was incredible I already beat it I played it through I'm already playing through the second time around and nice there's so much to it that you can you can keep playing it and finding new things and learning like little secrets in the game and stuff like that. You can beat it three different ways, you know. Um, <laughs> so uh, so yeah, so I think that was probably my 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 number one game of the year. It, it was pretty incredible experience. Yeah, uh, I'll just jump in real quick. I had the choice between Fallout Three and uh, Castle Crashers and Two Human. The only reason I didn't pick Fallout 3 is because I'm only 15 hours into it, and like, for like, and I'm trying to do like everything, and that's like I'm in like the third town or something. I'm nowhere, and it's so much fun, but I have to go with Two Human because I played through it four times, and that alone says a lot for how good it was for me. And I, I know nobody here likes it for whatever reason because you're crazy, but that's it for me. Two Human, go play it, go buy it. I only Chris. played a couple of games. Um, 
started at the year, played Devil May Cry 4. Um, like I said, I played Bio. How is that? You like, you like that, right? It was good. I n- I've never played any of the other Devil May Cry oh, okay, games. so you wouldn't be able to say, like, um, like I played I played, like, Ninja Gaiden games, but I haven't played the Devil May Cry games. Um, so it was, it was hard, Yeah. Um, like I said, I played Bioshock and Blue Dragon this year, even though they came out, like, later last year. Um, I played Grand Theft Auto 4. Played, uh, and then... I didn't really play that many video games this summer. I pretty much just played Call of Duty online all summer. Yeah. And then I had, the past couple months, I haven't played a game. Like I said, just this past week, uh, played Gears of War 2, played Call of Duty, only the solo mission, and uh, Saints Row 2. Uh, Fallout 3 looked really good, but I only played it for a half hour here. Yeah. So based on what I played, I'd have to give my game of the year um, to Saints Row 2. Wow. Because... That's uh nice. I find the Saints Row games to be a lot more fun than the call, than the uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto games because they don't take it so seriously. Like it's meant to be funny, yeah. And it's it's a lot more exciting. There's lots of like side missions you can do that are a lot more fun than the things you could do in Grand Theft Auto. So, based on what I played, like I I have I just started Far Cry Two, so I can't really gauge that yet. I have Dead Space and Fable still to play, so I can't really judge them. And I haven't. I only played half hour of Fallout Three, so yeah. But based on what I played, Saints Row Two is my favorite game of the year. That came out this year, anyway. Okay. I've never played any of the Saints Row, and that actually has me intrigued as to maybe I should go pick one up. Yeah, I was looking at buying it. You know, I don't know what the cost is. You can probably pick them up for thirty for the original the f- one, right? The first one's probably even less now. Yeah. I have the first one if you want to so, borrow yeah. it. But they're actually good. Like I was looking at them more. They're a- they're more fun than the Grand Theft Auto. Like Grand Theft Auto Four, they tried to make it was like too realistic to me. Like they tried to make it, like you do anything bad, like you do anything bad, and there's tons of cops on you. Like Saints Row, yeah. like you can you can do plenty of bad stuff, and you won't have you know. <laughs> and even when the cops are on you, they leave you alone after a while. Like Grand Theft Auto Four, I spent half my time just. Running. Like dr- driving 100 miles an hour through cities trying to avoid the cops because <laughs> That's they're kind of annoying because they send so many in the search radius is so big. Like, yeah, is it like really quick too? Like, as soon as you do something bad, they're there. Or, or well, Saints, no. Saints Row, no, like, no, 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 Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto, Not so much. It depends on what you do, mm-hmm. and it depends on how close they are because, like, they just dispatch the police. Like, like yeah. if you're on the street and you shoot somebody in the face. It like takes a little while. Yeah, you'll yeah. see the police lights on the on the map, map like start to light up mm-hmm. because they're coming to the, to the okay. area or whatever. And you have time to escape the area before the police start chasing you. So if you get out of the area quick enough, like they won't even know you're there. They'll they'll start going through the streets. The so one dumb thing about it is is like, you know, if you get out of the way and you're still in the search radius and they see you, they'll come after you like yeah. they know it was you or something like that. Really? You know? That's which obnoxious. is kind of stupid. Yeah. And in, in Grand Theft Auto, the search radius was immense. Once you got up to like three stars. It was the the entire size of like one of the islands. Yeah, it's and there's uh, there's only like what like three four islands. Like three or four there's four islands, islands I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And the search radius would cover an entire island. So you basically have to leave an entire island, that's and you have nuts. to go over a bridge to do that. That's full of SWAT trucks yeah. and stuff like that. So once once they <laughs> once there was um once you get to like five stars, there's these fucking helicopters that are just tearing you, you up. You yeah. might as well just give up. Yeah, just give up. Just, just yeah. kill yourself and give up because there's no sense in trying to run away. And there's what do you lose when you die in that game? Uh, you lose, you lose money. money. That's it. Oh, that's it's just a money. big deal then. But doesn't it like kill your... Like if you're in the middle of a mission and you get killed, doesn't it like yeah. reset the mission? Yeah, it resets basically? the mission, oh, yeah. which is also well, that, annoying. I guess but. that makes sense, but it's annoying. That's what annoying. I like is that Saints Row, they have like... Like even when you get the maximum amount of stars, you can still technically survive. And they have little... They actually have in Saints Row both of the games. They have they're called Forgive and Forget. It's basically like a drive-through service, and you just pay a hundred dollars per star, nice. and it wipes out any police. That's so funny. as long as you get to one of those, you can have the maximum amount of stars. You can have helicopters shooting at you, but if you just walk through there, it goes away. I think you could do at least in Grand Theft Auto. You you had, the paint you had shops. Gray or something. Yeah, to go to the. But you can't be seen going yeah, into them. Yeah, going to the if one they, garage, if, and it, which is impossible to do once you it, get like it three really stars is on you. Because there's five cars, like, hitting you from you. Hey, Chris, you want to talk about Just Cause? Since we're on the topic. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I picked that game up and played it fairly recently. I would say, Why? like, a month ago. And actually played a little bit more on it. And I'm still, like, not convinced that it's, like, the worst game ever. It's, like, it's really not you, bad. You jump on the hood of your car. <laughs> yeah, you can. You, you pull it, a parachute. 
and it's, you fly. Listen, I'm not saying it makes sense or it's not stupid as shit. I'm just saying it's not unfun to play. It's it's funny to watch. That's it's all funny to watch, do. and it's like, did you ever watch like a, a Robert Rodriguez film, like a, yeah. a Desperado? Or yeah, like no. a, his uh, Mexico El trilogy. Uh, you're basically Mexico playing trilogy. El Mariachi. In this. Yeah, that's what the game is. I don't know what that is, but it sounds Mexico awful. trilogy. It's yeah. El Mariachi, Desperado, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. All right. Oh, this movie with Antonio Banderas. Well, not El Mariachi. It had like a thousand dollar budget. It's yeah, basically exactly. basically you're just and flying and all over the place. It's probably the same budget the as the video game, Just yeah. Cause, as well. Yeah. But you know, it yeah. still works on a certain level. I mean, it's not. I can definitely think of worse games that came out for Xbox, and that, that this game is old anyway. This is yeah. going back what two years, three years. Yeah, it's not a recent game. I know. I just thought it would be funny <laughs> to bring up. Apparently, Saint, Saints Row Two, you can uh, you can surf on a car. Awesome. You can do that in the I have, I have, as well. I haven't, tri- I, haven't tried it. I haven't tried it out, but you can do that. So you can also deploy similar. a parachute and like fly behind the cars. And Awful. You- <laughs> but the Saints Row games are good. I like them more than Grand Theft Auto because the side missions that you can do, there's more variety to them, and they're more fun. Like Saints Row 2, one of the first side missions you can do is you drive around, and someone, basically it's like a rail shooter, and you're in a septic tank, and you're just spraying crap on buildings and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you're spraying people down with poop. And there's like a lot of random like little like side things you can do. I think I would like if they came out with a Grand Theft Auto type game that wasn't like a thug game. How's that but, possible? I mean, yeah. I don't know. Like that's why I'm, that's what I'm asking. Like it, what would the be Sims? a good setting for a game? Not like a thug game in what way? Like black people thug? No, just like the point of the game is to like just get money, cars, women, and like I'd, I'd like a, an open world, get, like not like but, Oblivion. Dude, you're talking though. about the, Super Mario Brothers. The, yeah. the fourth one, <laughs> and you still get a woman in that. <laughs> this new one I liked, I liked so much because it wasn't all just like get money, beat missions, just beat the missions. Like it had more of a storyline to it. I kind of liked the fact that it was kind of realistic because, uh, like, you didn't like the storyline at all in the fourth one. I thought it was all right. I mean, it wasn't. It's not the. Be- it's not impressive. like a. It's not like a final, Final Fantasy or anything yeah. like that. But like, what can you expect to run around shooting people in the face? But now that would be kind of cool. Uh, a modern world type Final Fantasy, like, um, you know what they, sh- the, uh, the Mist. Yeah. Remember that, that that movie? Like, I love it so much. I don't know why, but like, oh, if they made oh, yeah. a, a video game kind of like that, but with like a Grand Theft Auto, where like something from another dimension comes in and starts attacking the whole. Mm-hmm. fucking world and you gotta fight it that would be fucking great legendary like that game did you, did you read all, the reviews for that game no, legendary no. is that what it's like it's like a first person shooter and apparently I think the premise is you, you're like a security guard at a museum and someone oh, you have Pandora's box uh-huh. you know and someone opens up Pandora and all these like mythical like creatures and shit like that sounds amazing com- comes out sure it's uh, apparently it's like the worst first person shooter oh, ever alright <laughs> first of all there's a couple things wrong with what Jack just said first of all the mist Movie sucked. I don't care what anyone <laughs> oh, says. Was great. I never I saw it. The I Mist, never the book by Stephen King. Uh, I think it was one of the Bachman books when he he wrote his his pseudonym or whatever. Uh, was great. It was an yeah. awesome short story. I've but the movie that. sucks. It was I terrible. don't know why. I, I I could see like the acting. Was Second terrible of all, in parts. they've already made it into a video game. It's called the first Silent Hill for PlayStation One. Is that man? Well, there's no real big creatures, are there in Silent Hill? Like. No, but it's just that whole like, like foggy. Huge it's fucking, like loosely like, based. Yeah, I mean, it's all foggy. You can't see what's going on. You have no idea what's happening. Yeah, you know? I mean, eh, all right, I'll give you that. I suppose. So, and that's the only thing. Silent Hill was good, though. That was yeah, great it game. was. <laughs> I should. I, I want to get the whole series, but. I've I hear the last of the four it was the room was awful. That I sounds so cool, it. though. It sounds really cool, but it. it I heard it was yeah. terrible. Worst That's one nice. ever is the one for the PSP. I don't care what anyone says. They made I, one I for the PSP? Sec- yeah. It's called, like, Homecoming or something, Yeah, right? it's terrible. Your Sounds terrible. Yeah. For Christ's sake. Oh, well. I don't know. The Room just kind of sounds like that stupid 1408 movie to me, which is also that. terrible. Good. And it, John yeah. Cusack. Yeah, that John Cusack movie where oh, he okay. goes. Yeah, I never saw Oh, it's it. fucking terrible. You know what movie's great for a horror movie? Totally off topic. Thirteen Ghosts. You ever see that movie? No, I hated that, that movie. Phenomenal. 
I think it <laughs> was movie's very awesome. underrated. I thought it was really good. I've watched it twice now. I just watched it's it It's on other TV day. all the time. I don't have TV. Well, I thought the plot was kind of cheesy, but like yeah. the ghosts themselves were insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think that movie's a bit underrated. Like, it's it not... Has- it when has a it Ghostbuster out? feel, not the ago. humor of Ghostbusters, but kind of like the feeling of Ghostbusters with yeah. like, you know, without actually being Ghostbusters. It it's came like out a while ago, dude. Like when we were both at GameStop, we had really? the DVD. Yeah. It's got it Tony Shalhoub. Tony Shalhoub is the <laughs> Was it? Tony Shalhoub is in it. It's, it's, um, you have Netflix. It's worth just look. You, you know, whatever. Yeah. Check to see if they have it. Yeah. It's worth taking a look at. It's like, don't get us wrong. It's not the best movie ever or anything no. like that, but it's, it's definitely entertaining yeah. and it's pretty decent for, for what it is. Okay, it's not like a, like say a, uh, what was that scream or whatever. The, it's no, not like no. corny like it's, that. That's, it's not dumb like that. Okay. No, it's not like. Ah! Or that's I know a, what you did last summer. It's yeah, yeah, like yeah. That I don't shit. like that shit. Why were those popular ever? Because people are stupid. I know They're that. Like teen movies. I yeah, mean, it's the same shit that's out right now, like Twilight or whatever. Like we didn't have shitty movies when we were teenagers, though. I'm like sure that. we did. No, we didn't. Not like Monster that. Squad, for God's sakes. Huh? We had Monster Squad. That's that when was... we were like three years old. Stop Wait, no. It. I mean, like teen scary movies. We had Nightmare on Elm, Elm Street, Street is the scariest fucking movie ever made. <laughs> I still shit my panties when I see no. it. No, I watched it two months ago. It's not as good. I, I can't watch it because I'm too. Scared Have you ever? When was the last time you watched the fourth one? Uh, <laughs> probably ten years ago. Not scary at all. No, no, those are bad. But the first one. Only. Okay. My favorite part in the fourth one is when I don't know if you guys. It's remember not just it. his house. No. It's his home. <laughs> She's like, I don't know, one of the one of the girls' friends. She's like lifting weights. She fell asleep or something like that. Oh, the cockroach the arms. Comes, yeah, the Freddy comes at her and he, and he breaks her arms and he turns into cockroaches and he look he look like she turns it. She's in like this roach motel. Just like you, you can, can check, check in, in but, but you, you can't, can't check, check out. out. <laughs> and then he like crushes her and like all this ooze comes out yeah, of the roach yeah. motel. It was retarded. He has some very <laughs> funny bad lines like in the sixth one where he goes. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little soul, too. <laughs> it's so terrible. Yeah. I, like, looking at him now, like, I was scared of it before. Yeah. But you look at it now, you're like, oh, I must have been a sissy because this yeah, shit is funny. Yeah, all of them are bad except for the first and third one. I don't remember. Did you ever see the movie They Live with uh, Rowdy Rowdy? Yeah. I watched That's it hilarious. <laughs> that is South so Park funny. Is, thing on yeah, I just watched it on uh, Netflix On Demand or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. It was pretty yeah, it's it is, totally terrible. The best it, line is at the end where it's like, I came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the roof with his... <laughs> <laughs> <It looked like laughs> sunglasses. That's the best. <laughs> Ooh, cookies. Wow. That's a side note. Ooh, cookies. Kish brought Ooh, cookies, yummy. Cookies. Do 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 Ooh, cookies. Alright, what were we talking mm. about? Yeah. Uh, three six. Yeah, you have an Xbox three sixty game you want to talk about? Eating cookies. Talk, talk about Dead Space because I haven't I'm played sorry, it yet, what? and I I'm st- I still have yet to play. It. Dead Space is Xbox? good because it just scares the shit out of you. Is that that's the only one you have for three sixty? You said? No, the only thing I had for three sixty was uh. I rented something. Well, it played a bunch of the uh, like Lost Odyssey. How like that? that? Tales of Symphonia. It's then they're long RPGs that I just never finished. Oh, I have no intention shitty? of doing so. What's up? They're I shitty. Can't hear you, man, clear your mouth. They're shitty. Yeah. Well, no, they're not shitty. It's just like the battles, the battle systems are lame. It's like every fight's supposed to be like a boss battle that takes like 10, 15 minutes to fight, really? and Fuck you that. run into a boss. No, you. Run into a monster like every two feet. It's uh, obnoxious. That's, that's annoying. annoying. Yeah. But the graphics were nuts. I mean, like some of the voice acting was just hilarious. Hilarious yeah. bad or hilarious good? Hilarious good. Really? <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. Some of it was just cheesy. And then they bring in like two little kids. And then I just stopped playing. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> two obnoxious little kids. Uh, it's just painful. I just read something actually totally off topic again. That they're coming out. Someone's releasing this game that's like a... You remember the old school like role playing games where it was like a dungeon crawl and you'd see like the corridor in front of you, you could yeah. turn left and right? Someone's releasing a game like that. Really? Like, for one of the new systems and I forget Ugh. the name of the company or whatever. Hmm. But it's getting a lot of publicity for some reason. I guess Does because it look no good? one's done it in a while. I don't know. I I, I just How read, can it like, look good? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> like, how good can you make something like that look? Maybe it looked like real people's. That was like their <laughs> fake three D crap. Like, I, don't I guess know. no one's heard of it besides me. So. I was never I, I really into that. those no. games. I, I couldn't deal with that shit. So I was big into them when that's all there was. Man. That's what role playing games. Golgo were. thirteen on Nintendo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those dungeons that were like that? Awful. 
The uh, Shining in the Darkness was the last one that I probably played. The last one that they that released. That game was good. It was very good, yeah. It wasn't bad. Eternal Ring? Was that bad? That was I remember terrible. it looked good. No, it didn't. What are you, crazy? They had good graphics. <laughs> real people. It looked like real people. <laughs> remember the original PlayStation 2 launch? How they had like seven yeah. games, Street Fighter EX3, which sucked. Eternal Ring and... That kid Chris that bought flash. the Japanese PS3 brought it over. Remember that? He buys everything. Uh huh. Have you seen him? <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. Since I left GameStop. Yeah. Was, I'm sure he still goes in there. He spent $900 on a PS3. Yeah, he did. Idiot. Crazy. Wow. Why? Because he's stupid. What, Crap. eBay? Released no, you bought a Japanese one or something like that? Probably from that. This was like. It was a while before ago. Before the internet, probably. <laughs> 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 Seriously, no, nah, I know it wasn't, but uh, <laughs> it was a long time ago, and I'm sure he went because he used to always go to Chinatown. He brought me one. Oh yeah, he went to Chinatown. He, he would always come back with the Cowboy Bebop movies as soon as mm-hmm. they came out and stuff like that. But yeah, he, yeah, he was all he was in Chinatown like every fucking day. Like I don't know how the guy worked. He didn't. Oh no, he, he did. He, but he was like a computer programmer temp. or something like that. But like a temp. He's always a temp. Yeah. If you're listening to this, Chris, sorry, but like. I don't know how the fuck you made your way out to Chinatown every fucking day. And you're at the store every day, too. Like, when did you have time to work? You live with his mom. Yeah. That was I weird. I remember that. I think I drove him home once because uh, his car broke down. And I don't know. He had a nice house. At least his mom did. <laughs> this, is all ter- <laughs> this is all terribly <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are very interested with what we're saying right now. All 104 of you now. <laughs> 100? Please. Listen, that tens, one day. Tens and tens of people. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, we only had two downloads of the podcast on that day. Oh. That sucks. If, I guess if you guys have no idea what we're talking up. about, but Jack basically plugged our uh, website on a radio station local here, and uh, we got like a huge spike in traffic. A huge spike meaning we got like 100 hits. Instead of like three. <laughs> yeah, instead of three. <laughs> you guys got to support us, goddammit. Leave some fucking comments already. Wait, let me finish stuffing my fat face. <laughs> Leave some comments. I, we're getting like comments from each other. Yeah, we use the forums this is or absurd. something. We have nice forums. It's for free guys. forums. Yeah, free. You can register for free. Post whatever you want. Tell us we're assholes. Whatever you want to do. Sadly, we're yeah. telling this to the people that don't even come on the website. So, <laughs> hmm. yeah, <laughs> a lot of good this will do. <laughs> Wait, there's forums. <laughs> <laughs> What's a forum? Before we leave here today, everybody's registering on the forums and everybody's creating a user profile. All right. Don't so. I have one? I think so. Yeah, you just have to post it. Um, and we should all start writing more. I've I've been well, trying I'm, to lately. I'm going to now since I have like another two weeks off. We need to have. I would like. To, I would be happy if we had three posts a week. Honestly, I mean. Yeah, I'm going to be useless for the next month and a half. Yeah. Because I'm working 12-hour well, days. I started playing Excellent. games now, so I have stuff to write about. Now, so. They don't even have to be good posts. Just they don't, they don't even have to be a paragraph. Just write anything. Like, yeah, something. Write about Those what you what you like saw here you today. talking about this book that you were reading about. Post that. Be like, hey, yeah. Cool book. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ass- write about... Um, Soldier Boy, tell him that we've, that we've learned today. If you, that he's if you, an asshole. If you, if you like to get drunk. <laughs> get if high. Like get high. There ain't no point to it. If you like to drink beer yeah. and get, get drunk, drunk or smoke, smoke weed, weed and get, get high, high. then leave a comment on our message board. <laughs> Please. Or website. Wherever. So Send us an email. This is also completely off topic. Do you guys play like scratch offs and shit? No. By any chance? Sometimes. So, Every now and then. You know how like on some of them it'll have. Um, It'll have like this. Let's go. It'll have like the second chance. Like if you lose, if you collect three of them, yeah. you sign online. And it, do that if you do it. Like I won. Like I, it was like a three stooges scratch off thing, and um, and like I submitted the tickets and the non winning tickets, and I didn't win any money or anything. But here I'm gonna pull up the list of all the shit they they're giving me. Now, I don't expect to see any of it, but they told me they'd give me this stuff. And while you're doing you that... Send us your uh, social security number. For all you... <laughs> for so, all you yeah. this is my Three Stooges prize pack. Uh, three Stooges coffee mug, a Three Stooges baseball cap, um, three, three Stooges golf balls, a uh, collector's book, a uh, t-shirt, a sweatshirt, collection two DVD, collection one DVD, 
uh, Three Stooges 75th Anniversary Collection DVD in a tin, Three Stooges Best of Volume 1 DVD set. Wait, you get that? Give that to yeah. Chris's kid. They're, they're sending that to me, yeah. Wait, are you sure you're getting one? Yeah, I don't think I'm getting it. But they look, it's it's like completely gi- legitimate. <laughs> A dead prince in Africa and knee jerks. <laughs> yeah, it's bank completely information. legitimate. Oh. On another side so note. All you have to do is send send it back into them with the three tickets and they send the shit to you. On another oh, side crazy. note, if you have that's an a lot I- of shit. Ah. If you have an iPhone and you like porn, go to Pornhub.com. It's amazing. <laughs> I wow. beat the shit out of myself every day. <laughs> While he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at work. That's hot. Just That's kidding. pretty cool. So, yeah. If you play scratch-offs, do that shit. Can you do because it with all scratch-offs? Or is it just it's just certain that? ones. Like, now I think the Three Stooges one is over. Usually it's four at a time, like... There was um, like a Harley one that you could do it for Wheel of Fortune. You could do it for. It'll say it on on the thing. It'll say like New Jersey Second Chance or whatever state you're fucking in. Um, second Chance Lottery and just just. Go you're probably one of the two people that actually submitted yeah. something. No, there they was no. Stuff. There was a hundred people that won. A hundred people that won that prize pack. Wow. Yeah, I was number eight. Wow. <laughs> and then there was Ooh. one person that won like a ton of money. That's awesome. Yeah. So, just a side note. Okay. If well, you gamble your life away, you might be able to win something so Jack, when you did lose. Did you pick a 360 game or what? Uh, too human. Oh, too human, right? Oh, who who didn't? Did anyone? Mention. Honorable mention. What about worst oh. game of the year? Yeah, you could. Uh, see, I, don't, I, I wrote down disappointments, and I don't even know if. Uh... Too human. <laughs> <laughs> what? Too human, worst game ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> What are you I don't understand. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> too human, don't buy it. Smackin'. Zelda Phantom Hourglass was dog shit on the DS and Mario Kart Wii. Metal Gear Solid 4, Tom Clancy's End War for PSP, and Halo 3. I'm sure that was last year, too, but those were the disappointments I could think of for the year. That's it. Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Uh-oh. Them yeah. spi- them it, was, it was good, but it didn't live up to the hype. At least I didn't think so. Truthfully, everyone I, else sucked its dick off. Did you just say listen, truth? 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 Truthfully, word is truth, born. T U R F. Um, Can I ask you a question? Bro? Yes. Did I'm you say truth? Truthfully. Um, I don't know. Like I never really, like I said, I never liked the Grand Theft Auto games before. I mean, I liked the top down ones because those were funny. Like, did any of you guys ever play the original ones? No. Oh, those were hilarious. Play them yeah. for free, I believe. If you go to rockstar.com or whatever, you can download the. Well, yeah, I think you can actually. Those are fucking hilarious. They're stupid. What's coming out this 2009? What is there anything coming out good that you know of? Like I Street guess Fighter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Very excited. I can't Star wait till Street Fighter out comes out. Xbox, I think. That's true. Too. That Lord of the Rings Conquest comes out in like There's next month. That online right? multiplayer. The match. No, player? no, not the online. It's. It's a new one. I think it's supposed to be like the the ones they released along with the movies, where it's kind of like fighting, but it's like if everything went op- you can play kind of like from the other side. If everything went the complete opposite, yeah. then you can play through missions like that, or you can play through missions like the storyline is, um, but like different storylines cool. that they that haven't had. Really <laughs> I mean, the other games were actually kind of fun. Yeah. Like I didn't. I have the other one. I didn't. I didn't hate I like them. The like I, they weren't like terrible games. No, no, they They're they actually kind of fun. I wish they were multiplayer though. Yeah, that would have been better. But whatever. I mean, take what, what you can get is, with movie games. What else is coming out this year? White Knight Chronicles coming out too. Is that PS3? That's Japan right now. That's yeah, it's PS3. All I fucking care about what is Street Fighter. What is the new Fosters? The new Bioshock. Is, is that gonna, gonna come out this year though? It's supposed to be June. What's the, what's that new Halo thing? That, what is it supposed to be? Oh, I think it's like a real time strategy. Is that or what it like is? That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think okay. it's supposed to be a real time strategy. No, but there's another one. Like there's, the Halo Halo, 3 there's Halo Three Halo Recon thing. or whatever. Yeah. Isn't that there's the one Halo... I'm talking about? Did anybody here no, like Halo Three? Honestly, I always thought Halo was overrated to begin with. The, the first, first the first game was really cool. Like they did, they did all new things with AI and stuff like that. Like never was there a game yeah. that had AI with that was that good where they'd run away from grenades and not just stand there and get blown to bits. Yeah, you know. But, like, after that, you know, like, what more can you do? Halo 3 looked pretty. Yeah, and, and that's the, about it. I'll say, I'll say the, the co-op yeah, it was okay. the, the co-op played a lot better on 3 than it did on 2. Yeah. Like, on 2, is, 2, if one person died, then you had to restart. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck that. But I think another, yeah. an, another reason with that thing, it was more of, um, 
more of a multiplayer thing. Like they added yeah. more stuff to multiplayer, yeah. right? I, I, n- I never I, really played the Halo games multiplayer. Uh, I, I was never really into it. Yeah. Well, Dude, never had LAN parties. Soul Calibur <laughs> Four was was a smidge of a disappointment for me. Yeah, like I don't know. It was just it's just like uh, with the like how I was talking about it before. Did we ever talk about this? Yeah, a little oh. bit. You got beat by like six year olds online or something. Well, no, like well, I would, you would get beat by people like that definitely didn't deserve to beat you because of lag. Oh yeah, and it would work out to their benefit because they don't know combinations and like to do combinations of that you have yeah. to go really fast. fast. And when you're lagging, it's impossible. So people that suck at the game and just hit one button at a time can beat the shit out of you when you're lagging. Yeah. But um, who in this room is going to buy Street Fighter Four? Sorry to cut oh, you off, but you're, oh, you're, you're going to buy, buy it the right? second it comes out. No, no. All right. Well, me and you will be the only ones playing. All That's right, go all. on with your Soul Calibur. But like, if you any if any of you ever played Soul Blade, the original one for PlayStation, the storyline was was individual for each person. Each person had multiple weapons that you could get, and each one had a different effect. Like, you could, you earned weapons as you went through, and then you got all the way to the end to your ultimate weapon, which was, like, the Soul Blade or Soul Edge, really? or whatever you want to call it. And the first you ever played the Soul Blade? Yeah. It was awesome like that. Like, the storyline was, was very specific for each person. Each person had their own story. It wasn't, like, just, like, a rehash of everybody else's story. Each person had their own story, and each person had their own specific weapons to their to their character and each weapon had a different effect like some weapons would regenerate strength Mm -hmm. but it'd be weaker than your original weapon and then some weapons would be crazy strong but it would bleed energy away from you some weapons would keep you from you know falling over any of that yeah do they no you just whatever weapon you have in your hand is it just looks different you know Uh, wait they change the the weapons the weapons all looked in in soul blade are you talking no 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 the sequels the sequels no they don't do any of that shit like you can get different weapons but they don't do anything different and that kind of annoyed me like you know like that was the best part of the first one and like none of the other ones after that had that like the i guess soul caliber 2 might have had that for um for dreamcast i think soul caliber 2 had it but um but like three and four like you know like they had individual storylines and stuff like that but it wasn't anything cool or anything like that. It's not like you could get like crazy weapons. The best part about it was to create a character, but that wasn't even that in depth. Yeah. You couldn't really do that much with it. And the online was a bit disappointing because of the, like the lag. And you expected there to be lag. The lag wasn't as bad as as you would expect it to be. But you know the few matches where where the lag really messed you up makes you want to break your controller in half. And since I don't work at GameStop anymore, I can't do that. Yeah. So what you're <laughs> saying is your soul your soul still burns. Yes. <laughs> okay. Disappointment. Yeah. Did anyone play that uh, Blood on the Sand game? Fifty cents. Fifty cent. Yeah. No. Cents. Cents. Isn't it cent? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. I want to see. It's well, the same thing as M and M's. I don't know the difference. <laughs> I've never played it. I heard it's totally off. Is, it's out. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. He has one out already. Yeah, he definitely has a game out already. Yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be craptacular, but oh, well, come on, what do you expect? Oh, exactly. Uh, the 50 cent shack foods in the desert, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, <laughs> Just keep going gears, back to that shack gears food. Of, gears of war. They call it sense of war. <laughs> or 50, 50 of war or something gay like that. I don't wow. Know. Sounds good. Yeah. One thing about Gears of War, they didn't release like any new like maps. That, uh, no, I mean, the weapons, they, they added a few new things, but I mean, you basically use the same gun the entire game. Use that Lancer gun from start to finish. That's the best one. Yeah, yeah, but know, that kind of sucks too. Like, it's the same not exact like thing. multiple yeah. weapons that you can use. I mean, that's always a good thing about. Well, I like the mortars. That's why I like um, Call of Duty. Yeah, I thought the mortars were cool in Gears of War too. And yeah, the, uh, the, the hammer of dawn. For that last weapon you got was cool, but it's yeah. like for one board. The hammer of dawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That plays a pretty high factor in the first one though as well. Yeah. So. In the first one they use it a lot more. Like yeah, you only use it like two it. times yeah. really in the whole second game. They so. they had a lot more like ride on things in the second game. That's really yeah, more. I mean I think that's what it was. You're on like, you know, aboard vehicles a lot of the time. And and there's some cool boss fights that I liked in the second one, but overall I didn't think it was all that great. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well mm-hmm. I don't know, you guys wanna cut this shit off, we're reaching two hours now. Yeah, I guess we have to. And Earl just went yeah. to go take a shit, and he whispered in my <laughs> ear, I'm going to drop the Cosby kids off at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Which, for him, makes lots of sense, I guess, being a black man and all. Got each pudding. But it's like Kodak film. Uh, we'll see you next time.
Bye, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye. Game. The year Too human. Five. Too human. Too human. Game. Game. Game.